What's going on guys, Captain Puppy here. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a great deal and we would really appreciate it. Now on with the episode. Yeah, my luck's been crazy with Anniversary and Big Mom Kaido. I pulled two of the debut legends in the same ulti on all parts. What the fuck? What the fuck? Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> never never, so, never, well, never. Besides, besides never Luffy Sanji. Besides Luffy Sanji, I pulled Luffy Sanji first multi and then did a second multi to try and get Nami and Beige and pulled another one. And then... Oh, so exactly yeah. like me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, bro. Literally exactly, <laughs> exactly like, like you. me. Exactly <laughs> you. Like, bro, you know start. what? Feels bad for Todd, man. Feels fucking uh, bad, bro. Right? Uh, I'm going to get yeah. some crazy luck. Uh, Keep dreaming, Chief. Fun. Keep dreaming, Chief. It'll Keep swing. dreaming. It'll swing. <laughs> the luck always swings. Exactly. You can't have the bad luck forever. That's exactly. cap. And you can't no, have you the can. good luck forever. You either. can't have the good luck forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, then so, again, so. freaking star. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. A uh, knight, fucking getting. No, no, we don't. We don't talk about fucking no, knights. Bro. Are Yo, knights what? are fucking ho. Are you lucky. Knight is a ho. <laughs> knight is a whole <laughs> ass ho. <laughs> this man can't stop. Knight is actually nah, yeah, a whole you, ass ho. You guys had to see it. We were, me and him were talking. It was like ten in the morning. I had to leave, so I was like, like we weren't even talking about pulls, like nothing like that. Like the night before, he was like, "No, nah, I'm not pulling on this." Whatever. That's cat. So I, I leave. I, look, I'm not even gone for ten minutes. He posts picture of double Magellan on Twitter. Oh my! <laughs> this guy is actually a whole ass hoe, man. Night is a hoe. Can't trust that guy. No, nah, he's probably pulling right now. He's kind of quiet. He Yo, is, bro. Still, <laughs> I'm not fun on that man. That man is horrible. Come on, That's bro. Cat. Blackbeard. <laughs> He's trash. He actually is good. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get, we'll get to it. it. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. You know what isn't horrible though? Another what? episode of Good Great Perfect. What oh, is shit. going on, guys? Welcome back to episode 40 of the Good Great Perfect podcast. We are joined today by the usual suspects, Flame Knight and Todd. And, you know, we thought there wasn't enough Australians on the show anymore, so we'll, like, we'll bring in another one. Stump D. Gotcha. What's going on, man? Yo, happy to hear you, man. We got Stumpy go? here. We got all the other jabronis here. We got, like, no news to talk about because it's where, just for, like, reference sake, we're recording at basically the start of the week. So we'll probably have some, like, God tier news come out at the end of the week, but we'll talk about it the next episode. It doesn't matter, but we're here. Some legends got released. Kind of Big Mom's banner is trash. We've got to discuss all that kind of stuff. So let's just jump right into it. Global. 10.2 update has finally dropped after a long and tiring maintenance. Came with it a bunch of little uh, knickknacks, as you might want to call it, and the Kato Big Mom Sugo Fest. But just to go through the 10 point update itself, the, uh, the base rate for skill up has now gone up. Um, so we finally have received that finally. base rate skill up, but according to some people, it's still less than JP's base rate, which is very frustrating in itself. But well, it really? I think that according to some people, I don't know, you can't trust these jabronis anymore, but, um, it's like a 48 of JP's like 48 or 46% or something like that. And global's at 36. So like, it's still, okay. it's still a little less, but I mean, base rates finally there. So you know, start feeding your copies. No more waiting for two times skill up anymore. Get farming, you, you lazy bums. Um, but, you know, always exciting there. Also coming with it is the Recollection Archive. Have you guys tried any of that stuff out or is that just sitting there looking yeah. pretty? I've, I've done it a little bit because uh, I was recording like some videos for Kaido versus Big Mom and having mm. access to that is so good. Just to yeah. be able to unlock anything is, is pretty nice. I actually like it a lot. But it is annoying that you can only unlock a certain amount per day and they yeah. only last for an hour. An hour, yeah. Like, that's mm -hmm. kind yeah, that's kind of annoying. Yeah. It is good in a sense because you can go unlock like really easy. I think like Colo Sadie is like, mm -hmm. I mean, Bebro released a really fast Colo Sadie like farming team for candy. It was like a minute yeah. long, the team. So like, you know, if you oh, need to go back and farm candy or if you have like that downtime and that extra stamina, you can obviously go back and farm, um, farm candy. And, you know, if you have like, obviously for new accounts, it's fantastic. You can go back and farm all the, all the uh, all the raids and stuff you missed out on. Plus, they just also make, have the event stuff too, which is cool. Just make sure you prep your team before you unlock it oh, so yeah. you get the most <laughs> you know, optimized to, amount of time. You're trying to waste no time, dude. Only an hour. Yeah, that hour's rough. I don't like mm -hmm. the hour. I think like it should it should just be for, like, day. the day, like twenty four hour period. If you want to farm, like it like it resets every hour, does it not? Like the, all the points and stuff. So I don't see why um, it only takes an hour or so to to do it. So we move though. We move. All um, the other unlocking quests are like a day, aren't they? 
Um, like yeah. with, with gems? The unlockable quests you should usually be like a day or sometimes even like a week or something like that too. So yeah, they're usually cool. like a week. Yeah, so it's something. kind of weird that we it's not the same thing with um with this. But oh, alas, if you, if, you, if you if you unlock something, it should just last until the points reset. Yeah, it should be a day yeah, for the recollection yeah. archive. Yeah, still a, still a dumb name, but you know whatever. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's it's a good recollect, feature, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got to recollect your archives, you jabronis. Like that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's so. a good feature, nonetheless. It is. It is. Yeah, no, Without I a like doubt. It a lot. Um, yeah. the keys in the shop got added. That's pretty yep. cool. Um, you can Dang. get the gold rumble scrolls from it, which is which is pretty poggy. Yeah, I didn't um, know you could do that. But you know, obviously, with that Kizno, you can't you can't get the insignias. So uh, we have to wait for hopefully you, Team Kizno. Do, 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 they, do those um insignias? Do they, are they only available when you when you like play the content, or can you get them from the Kizuna Exchange with regular? I think tickets? it's the exchange is where they come from. It's from the exchange. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So okay. that's another thing you have to hunt when you're doing Kizuna now, which is I mean, like not really hunt, but like. They're yeah, in the boxes, there, wouldn't they? Yeah, they are always yeah. in there. Um, and then the uh, the shop goes up to Kizna Magellan, which is actually pretty good. So it's actually a lot of mm. units available from the very start, so people can start catching up on on Kizna's they've missed and such. So you know, yeah, a bunch of good units in there for sure. Mm, that, for sure. that Okiku, get that Okiku. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, not really much else. Chop Man missions got renewed. Get yeah. going on that. Two hundred gems are available. It's a long, hard grind to get those out, but you know. Do I see a lot of work. people. Or, I see a lot of people already like literally going ham to like max those missions out straight away. But like, not worth it, Realistically, man. it's it's gonna take you a while to get it done. Like, don't don't rush to get it done. I think you have to. What is it, like a hundred PVP wins or something like that? Like, if you Holy, yeah, like, it, but like it, that's like thirty gems. If you were if you were to invest it, that's like over. Th- that's like 33, 34 gems to get those yeah. wins. What's the point? Instead of you go, instead of you walking out with two hundred gems, you now walk out with like one hundred and seventy. Obviously, that's still a lot of gems, but. You know, you're minimizing your maximum amount like output of gems. So just take your time with the with everything. Like, there's no rush. I mean, obviously, if you're trying to hunt Kaido Big Mom, different story potentially. But there isn't really a rush to to be chasing the, those gems whatsoever. That, well, I think actually, just come over time as you play the game. Yeah. Well, here, all right, here you go, Knight. Well, actually, what, Chief? Please <laughs> inform me. I was sir. just me, man. <laughs> <laughs> as per usual. Um. And that's about it for like the 10.2 update, I feel like. But with the 10.2 update has come, as per usual, they always say added new features for characters. And Mm. we actually have new features for characters in the global version. The versus units are here with the Kaido Big Mom debuting Sugo Fest. Yosha. Hoggers. Yosha. (laughs) 1,500 gems, no discounts, 50 gem multis, all legends available. Are you not entertained, Global? Let's fucking go. (laughs) I'm going to go. What was that, Toki? Repeat it for us. I don't know what you're talking about. No discounts? (laughs) I know what you're talking about, man. Bro, that was the great, that was the greatest. That was the I was greatest, dying when I bro, saw that. That was tweet, the greatest man. ratio of all oh, fucking history. Got me good. Anyway, <laughs> Kaido Big Mum Sugo Fest is here. Hopefully, you guys have got your Kaido Big Mums, or you know, you pulled and you failed like some of us in here, or you went to the thirty like some of us is here, or like Stumpy, you got two of them. So, uh, you know, well, it is what um, it is. It is what it is, indeed. But, um, oh man, it's just let's so talk. Let's chat about let's chat about this Sugo Fest. I just don't get how we go from that Sugo Fest to what we had with the anniversary. Like what? It's funny. Yeah, how, I get it's not an anniversary Sugo Fest, but like the this Sugo Fest, this, bro. But this Sugo Fest makes anniversary look really good, like I mean, really, it, really good yeah. in comparison, it, right? It was pretty good though. Yeah. All right, they well, did really well with the anniversary banners, like really, yeah. really well. All right, the well, four well, multis, like on each part, very, very yeah. good. Let's break it down. Three times mm-hmm. legend rate. Kind of big mum comes with ink. No one cares. I mean, actually, they're pretty cool yeah. ink. So uh we move. Yeah, one of All the best. legends available. Why? <laughs> Just, that's my like my question. Why? Uh, Trigger me the most so, about that though. I, I don't know if anybody saw my polls, but the very first legend I pulled was Sengoku. <laughs> Bro, the very first legend Todd pulled was I think Todd beard. wasn't your first yeah, your first legend yeah. was V1 Whitebeard, white beard, which is yeah. hilarious. It was, like, it was like the game was like waiting waiting for them to pop back up. Just Bro, the game was like <laughs> it's just in the in the gun ready to fight. Like you want Sengoku again? You, you, he hasn't been here for a while now. God. 
So there is a structure to the Sugar Fest, but after like the 15th multi, it's ass. Yep, correct. It's um, basically nothing. Like a, like a legend every three multis guaranteed or something. Yeah. Guaranteed um, rate boosted legend on 11, 18, 21, 24, 27, and then obviously Kaido being one on the 30th. Man. What do you guys think about Kaido being one on the 30th? Do you it's think that it should have been that, or do you think it should have been 25? Well, I, I wouldn't, no, have, I wouldn't no, have minded 30 it. 30 is always too much. If there discounts, then... Yeah, I, I wouldn't like, have minded it if it were one-gem multis. Yeah, because it brings it down, like, what, Roger and Odin brought it down to, like, what, 24-ish, 23 multis so, altogether? Yeah. I think Roger and Odin were... Tw- were they 25? There was, like, 30, right? They were 30, right? They were 30, but it was, like, 12, like, 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 1,200 yeah, gems, though. Like, it was, like, 1,200 gems to... To get them, yep. so you cut off like six multis worth of gems, essentially, yeah, which is that's right, you know. But like, if they had done that, you know, like I would have been more inclined to push to thirty to to actually get this kind of unit, which you know, which is kind of a contention point I want to talk about with Sugo Fest structure because I think we have to have another conversation about this kind of stuff. But but after after obviously we we get out <laughs> get out, uh, you know, our annoyances oh, out yeah. for Kaido Big Mum and such, but um. Mm. Well, like, all right, uh, 1, 4, least, 13, 19, 22, 25, 28, guaranteed rate boosted character. Throw that shit in the fucking garbage, bro. Yeah. You don't need that yeah. shit, man. You don't need it. Like, just throw but, it in the bin. Those steps should not right. exist after the 15th multi. It genuinely yeah. shouldn't. It should always it be, should be like, legends. Imagine yeah, guaranteed if, legend. Everyone's ima- after that. Like, yep. imagine, like, okay, so same structure and stuff, but except every multi was, had a guaranteed red. Better or worse? Much better. Yeah, it would have it would have been more yeah. akin to uh French it, Annie. It should have been sense, like right? after the fifteenth most... multi. Oh, you go something. I was gonna say most of the guaranteed reds were like two thousand and nineteen onwards as well. Yeah. So there's also that. The two thousand and eighteen thing triggered me so much. There's no point because for the, that. <laughs> there were the all red multis, right? Like it's awesome that oh it's two thousand eighteen onwards, but all the old legends you want are like Corazon, V1 Rayleigh, and Jimbei. They yeah. all came out before 2018. Like, you can't get them on an all-red multi. Mm-hmm. Like, it just throws away all the good aspects of, like, it's well, there's not much good about it, but all legends being on the banner, like... Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I was going to say, like, basically, what it should have been is, like, after the 15th multi, every every multi is a guaranteed legend, but then, like, maybe every three multi is, like, a rate-boosted legend. Yeah. Something like yeah. that. I, I don't know what they could have done, but, like, the, the steps that were, like, a guaranteed Wano unit, like... We don't need yeah, this no. shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many times I pulled that rare recruit one at Luffy? Like I pulled him like oh, seven and, times. Uh, the the Frenoske. Yeah, Todd, oh, you pulled oh, a lot of the Frenoske. I pulled a lot of the, the the chopper. My one, I had like twelve copies of Chopper just chilling after oh the fifteen God. multis. Yeah. So like everyone had that one like that one run one, one of rare recruit that kept on popping up. But it was never kept a legend, popping. man. Oh, right. why the fuck is V one Shanks? Right, oh boosted. my god, why is V1 <laughs> Shanks right, bro? Bro, if I if I see, bro, I swear to god, this sugar fest <laughs> pissed me off so much because yeah, if bad. anyone knows me, I have been talking about Kaido Big Mom and been getting so excited for this legend yeah. to come out because you know for a fact this legend is so incredibly good. And they're so like they're a top tier legend to start off with. For them to just throw that all in the bin and be like, whatever, man. This we're gonna we're gonna have the worst UFS possible is just heinous to me. It's absolutely heinous. This is how it's been on JP. Hey no, like this is this exact sort of structure of verse units anyway. Yeah, versus has always, always a bad been banner, like 30. right? Yeah. I mean yeah, Ace Akane yeah. was okay, right? Wasn't it? Wasn't it at least a little better than Kaido Big Mom? Yeah, Ace Akane's banner is um was better. But then opinion. but then they didn't they like rate boost Ace Akane or like they like they were in like the, the, the legend pool on the next banner afterwards though. It was like a support banner as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the thing with Ace Akane, like on like Kaido Big Mom is like they were on like the last like Three fucking banners. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing as well is that Yo. JP's banners didn't have all legends on them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. But yeah. like, I don't. Um, in, bro, oh, sorry, Flame. I'm just gonna pop off real quick again. Um, go ahead. like, I don't understand. Like, the the all legend banner like genuinely means fuck all for like us. And I get that they have to like they have to have these all legend banners to entice people to do these multis. Don't but do it on a big banner like this. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. No, yeah. When you're like, for example, like let's say, let's take any of our situations. You know, I don't know exactly how many legend stump was missing at the time, but like Todd was missing literally Kaido Big Mum. 
I yeah, was I'm missing, missing yeah, I was missing Halloween Legends and Kaido Big Mum. You know, like why not? Oh yeah, were the Halloween Legends not boosted again? No, but the- <laughs> nah, they're, not boosted. they're not boosted at all, man. What? They're Luffy, not. Luffy, That's Luffy, what Luffy, I mean. Jeremiah and the Sweet Channels are boosted on part two, but the Halloween Legends aren't. Like, like yeah, I had to throw the, fi- throw the fishing rod deep for them. <laughs> oh my oh, god, my. bro! Like it just it made no sense to me because like, the thing is, what they did was they justified people skipping anniversary by having the anniversary legends boosted on part two. That's essentially what they did. They justified yeah. people skipping anniversary, said, oh, we know you guys skipped anniversary because Kaido Big Mom was a better banner. We're going to give you the chance now to pull the anniversary legends on part two of the banner. Why? But make, but make you wait six days. Exactly, right? <laughs> yeah. like, it made no sense, man. This banner was absolute dookie. Like, yeah, just, poor management. Like, poor management. Absolutely. Yeah, I was actually dookie. saying when the anniversary was live on stream that people were like, oh, I'm skipping for Kaido Big Mom, I'm skipping for Kaido Big Mom, but I'm missing all these legends on the banner. I was saying, like, do the four multis, man, because oh, like this it. banner is very, very good, and Kaido Big Mom banner is not going to look this good. Now, I didn't expect Kaido Big Mom to look this bad, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Um, I definitely was like, this. just do your four multis on each part. You'd get 12 multis for, like, the price of eight or something stupid. Yeah. Uh, and you, even if you get shafted, you're getting shafted with good units. Like, oh, no, I pulled my third Roger. It's like, would you rather pull your third Roger or your 27th Sengoku? Like, Ask Todd mm-hmm. that. Yeah, no, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Love, Love Roger. I mean, but like, yeah. I would have much rather like this Sugo being like a super Sugo with like Roger yep. on it again. I, agree. I would have much rather that. I agree. Restricted we, you know, it, it's, how... Bro, it's always so annoying because we complain. I mean, like, it, it just goes to show oh, that we'll it, we complain. We're like, no, nah, we don't want to see Roger and Odin anymore. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but every time Roger and Odin are on a banner, the banner's good. That's exactly what I said in anniversary. But- <laughs> like, I was like, everyone was so triggered that they were back. And I was like, why? Like, it's good. Like, Every time they're on the banner, it's good. Game. And this just goes <laughs> to show that, like, this banner was 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 dick. This banner yeah. was so bad, you know? Yeah, just, but- wait, just just only pull on Super Sugos, guys. That's, That's all, in Sugos. all honesty, bro. Play, definitely. Only pull yeah. on TM banners, man. Fuck. Yeah. This yeah, banner, yeah, bro. Bro. Only pull on TM banners. Yeah. I was actually doing that for a little while because my luck on treasure map banners was great and I just couldn't pull the debut legends and I would always pull them on the treasure map banner. I remember when like Lucy first came out, I did like 50 something like multis trying to get Lucy and then put it Yeah, dude, it was that, this is when I first started like wailing, but uh, and then on the treasure map banner, first multi pulled Lucy. Yep, it happens, <laughs> like, oh wow, dude. It what? Happens, man. Like what? Oh uh, yeah. Great. I don't know, man. TM go to TM banners. I guarantee you, this TM banner coming up, Kaido Big Mom and nine other legends. 100% and on t- guard. Yeah, yeah, 10 legends. <laughs> It'll be a 10 legend banner. Kaido Big Mom will be on the banner. And the thing is, these TM units are kind of cracking. So, like, oh, well, yeah. You know, you might want to, you might want to splurge a little bit in this, on this TM banner that's coming up, too. But I mean, who knows, bro? Who knows what Global has up their <laughs> sleeve, man? Global fucking love playing around, doing, doing God knows what with who knows what, man. I don't know, dog. All right, overall thoughts, like overall thoughts on the banner though. I mean, we've, we've discussed a little bit there, but we'll, like if you could sum up the banner in one word, what would it be? Cringe. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Bet. Bet. Uh, stump, Knight. I mean, Knight even pulled on this banner too, bro. So <laughs> what do you think? What, do you, what did you think, Knight? I don't know. All red multi is kind of crazy. Oh, shut up, man. Let's go right here. <laughs> <laughs> all, all red multi is crazy if you're missing like 30 legends yeah if yeah, you're missing yeah. three legends i don't want to see all red multis bro fuck off man i wasn't missing three i was missing hey hey, I, i'm just gonna say the two banners like in the past so far well it's three but shanks crew and this one i actually pulled the debut legend on my all legend multi so cheers to that I hate flying, man. Be, must, must be nice. <laughs> I, I dislike. No, nah, but quick, quick little thoughts on the banner because I Go didn't say it. anything. Um, the rates obviously were like really good. Like I was scanning a lot of legends, but it was like super crappy because most of them were the older ones. Mm. The thing that I didn't like about the banner, and I'm not sure if you guys mentioned it, was that they only had one selected uh step, and that was like yeah. the sixth one. And I feel like they could have added that, like you know past 15 like another one of those and only one and then i think todd mentioned this in his video um i don't get why they first of all they threw the new character multi all the way to the ninth and there was only one of them Mm. like there should have been at least like two or three of those totally because like for me i didn't pull queen and i did 
I, I pulled Big Mom and Kaido on the fifth multi, but I went to 10 just to see if I can get Queen, and I yeah. couldn't get yeah. Queen. Yeah. I did the same thing, Flame. I, I'm missing King, which sucks. Oh, oh my God. The thing with me is, I think, akin to Todd as well, in a sense, like, I pulled all the the rare crew i pulled them in like the first three multis and i was like holy yeah, shit uh, like i'm this is going all right you yeah. know and then you get to 15 multis and you get absolutely nothing you're like <laughs> never all right never mind i should have cut my <laughs> losses at the third multi and moved on like you know but nah, Part I, mean, two like, what? I mean uh absolutely not. i'd rather do another <laughs> fifth i'd rather just do another 15 multis on part one and just go to the 30th but nah, yeah, right not, now he, he pulls Bro, I'd write no. You want to send me money tonight? Absolutely not. Bro. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll send you. Before we, before we move on from the banners, though, what do you guys think about six stars being on the banner as well? No, no, no. Yeah, I'm nah, dude, that, dude, that's so trash. Like, I pulled on, I, I pulled those Halloween like legends. I got Halloween Shanks, but he was six stars, so I don't. Have I mean, five Halloween Shanks life. doesn't even count as a legend anyway. So it's <laughs> wait, true. Wait, 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 the first wait, time that ever happened to me. <laughs> he put no man, on my boy Shanks. That's like the last uh, like four <laughs> legends for me. Yeah, actually, it is for not. Star. Yeah, but then you just Bullshit. you just pull two of the same legend on every multi though, so it's fine, right? Two you six that... star Magellans. What can I do with that? Hey, with 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 Kaido though, wasn't it like a five star and a six star on the same multi? So you're right. Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> six star, five star, five star. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's so gross. Oh, not <laughs> Yeah, dude, I level one showcase. Uh, yeah. Yo, dude, that's Pog. That's the truth. Level no, I don't. Going. I don't yeah, see. I don't see the value proposition in a six star being available on any banner. And Globe, because you guys, mm-hmm. I, I don't, correct me if I'm wrong. Global had that where six stars were available. Then one mo- like one super late, they're like, oh, we're not doing that anymore. Yeah. yeah, and then now it's back. Now like, it's why? back. Why? Like, they can't like, make up their mind, dude. Just don't do it. Like, when you split the rate, I know, like, in total, it's still equivalent to, like, that's their total rate to pull them. But for me personally, I feel like it it just ruins, like, just make them a five star. People have evolution stuff. Yeah. You have it available in the race shop. Go farm them, you lazy bums. Like, is it really is their value proposition like oh you no longer have to evolve the character you can save a fucking seahorse like come on dog no one <laughs> no one cares about the kind of shit man it's the same thing no, with, okay. uh, it's the same thing where it's like um oh you get this legend at max skill yeah <laughs> gives it the, you yeah. literally release the manual island the day the sugo yeah. drops no one cares yeah. about the max skill stuff enough it just takes away from content as well. Like, it literally does. Like, if it comes max star, skill, like, I'm, I'm not. I pull the five star, you evolve them. You pull this, you pull them a max skill, or I'm not going to farm the the skill book island anymore. I mean, for the most of us, so we don't farm the skill book island anyway. I think I only resources. farm it for XP. Like that's that's about it through treasure. Uh, I, I, I will admit though, the one thing that's kind of freaking weird is that if you go to the thirtieth multi, the kind of big mom doesn't even come with max skill. Yeah, that's yeah, that's dumb. Like, that's, that's just rough. another slap in the face. I'll, like, I'll, I'll be on the other side of the <laughs> At that point, I think what they should do to increase the value for like is the the like if you have to go all the way, for example, they should come like max skill, max sockets, all that Socket, kind of stuff. Yeah. Even come fucking you know, come with max limit break, break for God. Yeah, exactly. You get, right, you get them as a six star <laughs> unit, but rainbowed. I would, uh, bro. I, 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 Yo, all right, I bet. <laughs> I, all right, bet. Like you know what I mean. My slot buying yeah, tablet's kind of down bad yeah. right now. Like I'm. I'll, that wouldn't I'll, be bad. I'm the tablets, bro. They're killing my life. I need seventeen to get two. Like, oh, <laughs> oh no. It sucks sitting Luffy Sanji sitting there like key awakened and just not that rainbow border. Damn, bro, you want, hey, you want dupes, bro? I'll pull you. I, I can pull Luffy yeah, Sanji. Please, I can pull, way, brother. Bro, I can pull Luffy Sanji out the wazoo. Kind of big mum, though. <laughs> they don't, bro. They evading me. They are oh, evading. Okay, <laughs> right, yeah, part one's rate boosted list was pretty shit. V1 Shanks, oh. what? <laughs> I'm coming back to that. Why? Who the hell is V1 Shanks to be in the V1 Fuji? What are you doing, you old man? Like, get I mean, that's a pretty solid six plus. Shut oh up! Oh. Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> well, driven on JP, right? Yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> Dude, they vote for the driven matter. Also, I'm literally you... looking at him right now. No, <laughs> bro, the, bro, the audac- the audacity <laughs> of Bandai to put Kaido as a as part oh. of the rate boosted group as well, just solo Kaido, and that to have him guaranteed thing. as well. 
get out of town, man. That was my first legend on the banner, and I was like, oh, is this is how it's gonna be. Is this oh, how it's gonna no. be? I don't want none of that on my Sugos, bro. Hawkins, I don't want to see Hawkins ever again. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't want to see V2Nami. Get fuck off, man. I don't want to see V2Nami ever again. She's yeah, everywhere. They were pumping the Wano Legends when they were on part one. Yeah, it was it was like the theme. Like, ooh, yeah. you Wano no. Legends. Like, shut up, man. Thank you. Get I don't care about your theme. Give me the good legends. <laughs> but, well, I mean, it's kind of counterintuitive, right? They're like, oh, guaranteed Wano character. Oh, but all the Ray Bruce's led into the Wano Legends. I feel like in in, hmm, in essence, yeah. it's in essence, it's kind of counterintuitive. You know, yeah, very much. So. Like, why would you rate boost the Wano Legends, but then also be like, oh, this we're gonna advertise this step for like, oh, you can pull a Wano Legend or Wano character here. Like, you know, to choose one or the other. Don't have both at the same time. It ain't it, man. Definitely. I don't know. I think we all, we all, we all, all right. Everyone's got their anger out. We're all, <laughs> I think we're all, yeah. we're all. Hey, good. man, the battle was pretty good for me. I, like, I mean, no, shut I'm up, man. You guys keep, you guys keep, you guys keep, you guys keep teasing me, man. I'm going to have to go 30, bro. I don't, I don't well, want to do that, man. I know. I'm not, I'm not doing many pulls for the V2 duels or whatever. I'm skipping everything until French Annie. I'm skipping everything. Psych, me. Psych One Piece Imagine. Day releases dope shit. Let's go. I'm calling it right now. Korean merger banner is going to go fucking crazy. Ooh. It's oh, going to go... That was, that was Kung Fu Luffy. Kung Fu Luffy V2. Let's actually go, bro. <laughs> six, oh, six, no. plus, six, six plus, man. Six Kung plus Kung V2. Six plus come out same time. It's time, man. Todd, Todd didn't you get KFL? <laughs> yeah, that was weird, bro. <laughs> I haven't seen yeah, that. I him, yeah, it was on my, one of my old red multis. I pulled him six star. I haven't yeah, seen that. Actually, I haven't yeah. seen that six star art in time, dude. And I was like, yo, who is this? <laughs> that was so gross. Thank you, Paul, for the screen to throw up. Yeah, where's the Kung Fu Luffy ink effect? <laughs> dude, that have my guy. I actually, I would actually, I would actually do it. I would yeah, actually do it. That dragon move. Yeah, with the dragon starts <laughs> moving around. <laughs> that might go off, bro. Hold on, man. I'd actually do it. Just for the just for the meme. Yep. Why not? Right? <laughs> That'd be amazing. 100%. All right, you guys have convinced me. I might do my multis. Anyway, moving on. Let go. <laughs> All right. Anyway, moving on. Um, we didn't. We uh, we jumped right into global, but I want to. We'll take a step back real quick. You know, we we kind of kind of just didn't <laughs> get ignorant of just uh you know letting Stump talk about himself, who he is, what he does, and all that kind of good stuff. So uh you know yeah, you're good. <laughs> you know we'll give we'll give you the floor now, Stump. Let us know like. Who you are, what you do, how long you've been playing the game, what got you into One Piece Treasure Cruise, you know, all that jargon, you know, go go ahead, Chief. Thanks, my friend. Um, so I've been playing, what, uh, since like October 2017, I think, roughly. So roughly around the um, V1 Akainu era. Um, one of my mates got me into it. Um, I just started watching One Piece at the time. I was like watching it dubbed and I was like at that Whitebeard and Shanks scene where they like clash. And then from there, I was just sort of hooked. And then that's when I started playing the game. Just sort of hooked on one piece there. And yeah, that's about it, really. How about uh, content creation? What kind of got you into that realm of, of making content for the game? And like, what, where do you like, what kind of content do you make and all that kind of stuff? Uh, so I've been thinking about it for quite a while. Um, but I do um, work with um, autistic kids. Mm. And they love just watching summons. Like they love watching summons. So I just started basically recording summons and just uploading summons. So they could watch them. Mm. And then I was talking to a mate and he's like, why don't you just like record yourself playing the game as well and just upload your teams and stuff. And then mm. just from there, it just kind of snowballed. And when Roger and Odin came out, it just sort of picked up drastically, which I'm very grateful for. Mm. So for sure. it's a lot of fun. Um, just sort of, it adds another dimension to the game as well. I found there was times where like, I was actually watching um, Toadski quite a bit and just, just basically copy and pasting teams back in like 2018, 2019, and just not really playing the game, I guess. Yep. I was just kind of just just moving with the motions and then just mm. like getting around the height whenever it happens. But with content creation, like thinking of like different characters, throughout all my teams, I try and use different characters to the teams before that just mm. to show off like that there are just many different ways of beating the content and every character can be good in their own right if you put them in the right like situation. Yeah. Um, so that that's a lot of fun too, and it just it makes the game a little bit more interactive, I guess, for me as well. Mm. There you go, awesome. Yeah, big moves, sweet as. Big moves. You know, yeah. we're like, we're like, sorry, go go hit it. No, though. I was saying, saying like definitely things picked up when Roger and Odin came out. Yeah, you ain't wrong, <laughs> man. Yeah, dude, yeah, like, everyone was watching videos during Roger and Odin release. God damn. 
Yeah, that was the like the soon as soon as they came out and like I went I went pretty deep for Roger Nunn actually. But um worth it. The Hawkins Forest, yeah, definitely worth it. The Hawkins Forest, I was like, I have to put a video out for this Hawkins Forest. And it like hit 10K within like two days. And I was just like, whoa, like what's going on? Like, and then all of a sudden 1,000 subscribers came around and it's just, um, it's just been awesome since then. Yeah. Congrats, man. That's awesome. No, good. Thanks, no, we've, good stuff, man. We, we have, we have a, we have a, a secret list of guests we want on the show and you've, you've been on that list for time, but I've just been a lazy bum and I haven't really like reached, <laughs> I haven't really reached out to many people, but now nah, we're starting, we're starting to do that. And obviously you were the, you were one of the first people, if not the first person to come to mind when it came to inviting people on the show so I appreciate we're, we're that, very man. excited to, to make this kind of stuff happen for sure got to keep wrapping those aussie content creators that's what know? i'm saying <laughs> man we need more i, I was telling i was telling stump before the show man like the old guard of treasure cruise has kind of have has let go todd's now sitting on the throne you know as an old oh, ass Jesus man Christ. you know there we go i'm I'm, <laughs> ma- I'm making fun of you you jabroni mate you've been declared the king mate I'm, yeah you've been declared the king but you're still you're still an old ass man in re- in the in the scheme of like content creation so now you have this new guard of of content creators coming up and you know that's always going to be a healthy healthy environment for the game to flourish in so uh, oh yeah we definitely need more content creators for sure so make yeah. sure you keep recording all your teams and stuff people out there like you know just upload it see what happens if you enjoy that kind of aspect of the game then by all means like air like like todd said you know especially even d- during the roger and odin times people are watching videos of yeah. treasure cruise all the time so like keep uploading keep making content like there's plenty of people out there that that make really good stuff you know so uh, i'll find yeah. you don't worry i'll find you <laughs> it's fine man. at the end of the day it's, it's, it's nice like knowing that you just help someone as well exactly um so i'm big on like like replying to comments and stuff like that as much as i possibly can just like trying to help out the community as well as like all right well you don't have this unit let's try this unit um join discord talk like send me a message mm. what what you're thinking of the team how can we make it better how can we make it like more um fluent i guess is the best yeah, way to put it yeah. rather than just sort of just like getting frustrated with the game like this content's so damn hard and then just being like well hang on if you do it this way it's really not you know yeah. no it, no you can't beat it unless if you have the new batch <laughs> yeah <laughs> what the <laughs> hell man this game sucks replacement for coliseum kid yeah oh, oh. Nah, I, think, I, was just, I was just thinking about this and like this isn't to throw shade at um like actual people asking comments but since you um you said you work with like um autistic kids you probably have a like a lot more of a patience. sense of tolerance for stuff like that Absolutely. and patience yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah because i know like some some comments can obviously be a bit frustrating oh, but yeah 100%. That, that definitely can help with that yeah we know how you deal with comments flame no, no, that, no flame <laughs> make a whole video about no, no, it. flame flame does it in a very elegant an elegant way it's like a fuck you but he makes money off it so it's fine right oh, not not does it the best too, man, like- Knight does it the best. He just replies, hey, look at the database, you idiot. Like, go find your own <laughs> shit. <laughs> replies in the comments. You, guys. you can search for characters. <laughs> People don't nah, know that shit. Knight is bad. Knight just be like, attack booster. <laughs> yeah, he's like, use an attack yeah. booster. I want to attack... <laughs> Play the game. You, <laughs> you got this far. You should know what attack <laughs> you got this That's what I think. Like, come on, man. There's different levels to it. Your That's for sure. I ain't going to hold nothing, bro. Oh, God. Exactly. All right, well, you know, moving through swiftly. JP, bunch of legends released. Oh always a, always very uh, always very exciting time. We'll start oh, with v- so like we talked about V2 Magellan last episode and gave our speculations and thoughts and um, you oh, know. Did we have his information last episode? No, we didn't. We were speculating oh, yeah. all that okay. kind of stuff. So, we have his information now. So, we'll discuss uh, cool. Magellan We'll do that thing where I'll just talk about captain. We'll talk about captain, blah, 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 all that kind of fun stuff. So Magellan's captain ability. He is a quick shooter powerhouse character, super type as well. Uh, his captain ability. If HP is above 70% at the start of the turn, boost the attack of quick characters by 5x, by 4.5. Otherwise, HP by 1.3. Attack of all other characters by 4x. Reduces paralysis by 10 turns. Recovers 25% of damage taken from enemies in the previous stage when entering a new stage. Solid captain. Yeah, pretty good. Very, very Strong good. captain. It's uh, been quite a, a pronounced to the uh, community at the moment that uh, Bandai is doing this very consistent thing where it's 5X color, 4X rainbow at the moment. So uh, 
pretty pretty similar in a sense of um well i think he's easily the best quick super type yes Definitely. without a doubt i mean quite comfortably <laughs> i mean it wasn't really hard to, <laughs> to, yeah. to to do that anyway but you know he's, he's very strong he's, he's I mean, kaido is good but his captain effect isn't that good <laughs> like magellan's captain effect is insane this is very it's, strong 5x yeah. base you have the 4.5 so minimum 4.5x you have 1.3 hp 4x rainbow which is cool 10 turns of paralysis is always like paralysis. is always well, really that's, exciting that's big. and then recovers 25 percent of damage taken like he has that like survivor like the endurance as i'll, I'll i'm gonna start using that term now because snap king really made a good point of that with during his um his little tier list thing but like endurance is actually a really important factor in treasure cruise i feel like so um he has he, that he has that for sure very strong he can he can you know he, he got the, he got the you know <laughs> he got the injury you know anyway moving on and like you can build like so many good teams with him because i mean yeah he's quick centric but you still boost all other colors by 4x which is all not terrible times. at all yeah and that shooter That's powerhouse really, too really good shooter yeah, great powerhouse classes. great yeah. class combination there you know shooters on the yeah. come up let's go you know we come kind of kind of reverse ace eat your heart out <laughs> like <laughs> the units but, getting more and more useful and double special too, man. Whew. Oh my god! Let's get in. Let's get into that. Cuts yeah. the current HP of each enemy by ten percent. That will ignore def, uh, damage negating abilities and barriers. Reduces bind and burn by three turns. Boosts the color affinity of all characters by two X for one turn. Uh -huh. And inflicts toxic to all enemies. If enemies are inflicted with toxic or poison upon activation of the special, boost attack of all carries by two point five X for one turn. Damn. Wow. Um, wild. <laughs> I love uh, the fact that he is a damage dealing special. Yes. Yeah. Dude, smoker open. support. Let's go. Smoker support. Yeah, Poggy. Yeah. I think like there's a lot. I there's remember. a lot here. There's a lot here. Hit it, flame. I was gonna say I remember I was super triggered before like his. Oh, I think we all were. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because I, I did. I hate captains where like they force you to use both of their specials on the yeah. same turn, and I thought that's what they were gonna do. But then it came out like when I woke up and I was like, oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't make <laughs> like, a video. <laughs> uh, if, they, if they put if they put three turns of utility on a captain without double special, that's like, what I that, was gonna say. That's, that's an yeah. atrocity in itself. Because, as soon like, as I, I saw three turns, I was on stream going, nah, this guy has to have double special. If he doesn't have double special, no, nah, don't even, don't even. Pull. Yeah, don't I remember. Even. I think you tweeted me. You were kind of heated. You were like, yeah, um, you yeah I did actually. Have it. And I was like, I don't know, yeah. man. Because like, yeah, like, like, no, no, yeah, I was like, oh, dude. Yeah, it is the yeah, first dude, yeah. he's the um he's the first legend with double special. So yeah, I, I really didn't think they were gonna Yeah, no one would have thought, oh, they're never gonna give a, a legend double special. That's too broken. Well, and and they did it. it's a lot of time. <laughs> well, like, it I mean, had to come around eventually, right? Yeah. yeah. Like I like, I'm in the exact same boat. Like when I saw bind and burn by three turns, I was like, Yeah, it's double special. Because nah, there's no way. Because like I think oh, no. six, six turns at the moment is like it, it's kind of becoming like the minimum uh, the minimum at the moment like six turns of uh, reducing four something turns minimum. Four, turns, four turns but I think six so, turns six turns is coming up as like it's becoming that little like little threshold point where you need like right. five or six turns of removal for everything but like mm -hmm. otherwise like the damage output he would have given if he wasn't double special would have been ass like yeah. I mean Turk's color affinity is kind of cool I think it's it's a rainbow Turk's color affinity as well oh, which is like really oh, awesome yeah. So that, he's a really good sub in that sense. But the whole idea of like inflicting toxic or poison and then having to have like something, somebody to proc that as well. It's like, you know, you don't want that kind of summon. But double I special is unit, huge. Dude. This unit is so crazy because even like the, his special is great with double special and all that. But then it's it's even it's even enhanced because of his uh, sailor effect where he reduces his own cooldown by three every time another quick unit uses a special. Yeah. yeah dude, and then you've got like Sober Mask, for example. Yeah, I was about to say, about to say Sober Mask, you just be popping them off. <laughs> so many specials. It's crazy. Both and they're all both quick powerhouse. powerhouse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Ace Akainu being a quick powerhouse as well. Like, oh my God. Super type Kaido, He's quick powerhouse. powerhouse. Who is? the Magellan unit i was hoping he'd be driven yeah he's powerhouse yeah i know but do you like do you like the fact that he's powerhouse oh, yeah i, I yeah, want I like him to it. be like one of the two either driven or powerhouse yeah he need he needs yeah. to be one of the two for sure yeah yeah i was hoping he'd be driven shooters just so he could work with a kainu and a spot i mean powerhouse is just as good right yeah i mean he works with both of them because yep. he's a shooter, shooter. ace is yep. a shooter yeah. booster as well so like it yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I forgot Ace came out. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> Ace, who? Bro, Ace, 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 that is Kainy. Isn't it a Kainu versus Kobe? Isn't that? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dog. <laughs> <laughs> um oh, and then so here for his super type the criteria is you need hannibal shiryu domino 
Daisy, Sal Death, Boa Hancock, Sengoku, Akainu, Kuzan, Borsalino. This man said said Daisy. <laughs> Isn't that that's what it says there? Sadie. <laughs> Bro, that look hey, go go look go look in the database right now and look how it's written. Is it really? Daisy. Shout out Solaris. Daisy, so I, no yeah. way. No, go look, page, go look. Page, is page included too? It says Daisy, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm not dumb. I mean, I am yeah. dumb. I am dumb, but... It is It is Sadie, yeah. Either right, way. Sadie. Either way, right? <laughs> Easy to fulfill. And his super type being removes poison duration, completely recovers 25% of damage taken from the enemies on that stage and entering a new stage for one turn. Yeah. yeah. Removes poison, yeah. recovers damage, kind of lame. Yeah, I think that's his biggest downfall is he's super typing. Yeah. I would love for him to give like poison through immunity. Something like that would have been crazy, man. I, mean, I think a I mean, lot of a lot of people predicted that he a lot of people predicted that he would have like poisoned with his super type. But you yeah, know, I mean like he does it with his special and double special is kind of brazy. Even so, um, even an orb change would have been kind of cool. Yeah, for sure. So I mean some mm. sort of mechanic in that sense would have been crazy, but um Yeah. Alas. Uh, like removing removing poison makes sense for him, but like Besides Dofi too, like when is that ever going to be like super viable? Yeah, it's yeah. Kind I feel of that. I feel the, that. The way that I see yeah. it is, is like I see is like this unit. I just completely ignore the super type and just think, yep. okay, he's got a great captain, great special, and the super type just kind of extra. The super yep. type just exists, right? Like it's like, all right, cool. You have, know. you have it there. Go I think on. the good thing about his super type is the fact that he has like the the extra heal thingy that Sanji mm. put in has in their swap. Like, I think that's the good part, but the poison thing's like, yeah. He's, he's, he's yeah, it'll be useful. Like, like, um, he should just have that. He should just have that in his captain ability, to be honest. Immune to poison. Just yeah. boom. Yeah. Just a uh, side note. I just pulled uh, Halloween lore. Anyway, keep going, guys. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> I am pulling. He's like, he's, 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 I am, he's, 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 I am pulling. I am pulling. I'm, I'm, I've given, I've given in. You guys have convinced me. Oh no! Me. You guys, I'm oh, going. Okay. I'm, I'm doing it. Anyway, moving on. Um, <laughs> all right, Knight. Since you have Magellan, what are, you, what are your thoughts? Like, you know, have you used him? Have you used him? I mean, I mean, PVP. I want to talk about him there as well. But uh, before that, what do you think about Magellan in terms of PVE content itself? Uh, I think he's uh, good, but. I feel like a lot of the times when, like, he's just, like, the utility and color affinity, like, you're not going to get the attack boosts in a lot of, like, the harder stuff, which kind of sucks. But at the end of the day, I think he is going to be, like, a really strong character overall. And I, yeah. I've used him quite a bit, but I haven't, like, used him in a lot of things just because, like, Dofi 2 isn't out right now, so I really want to try him in that. And it's ridiculous, honestly. Yeah, not having not know. having the top challenges is just. Ugh. Yeah, you need like. Yeah, it really sucks. Yeah, I think playing JP. I want like Garp Six. <laughs> I think, oh I, no! I think uh, he's yeah. like Mage Magellan will be a, like Magellan's going to be a Garp challenge like king. I feel like in that in that essence, right? I feel like he's going to be a, a very strong unit because like I think what people sleep on a lot and like it is like in kind of a notion for like Halloween lore as well. You know, preview to that. Um. Is like that heal he gives is actually like huge, you know, like that's yeah, okay. that survivability aspect. And I keep on harping on it, but like that quote unquote endurance aspect of a legend has now become a lot more important to me when you when you consider legends and such too. So um, like I wish well, you five times flat, right? Like damage is not really an issue, right? No, not at all. I feel like his um his super type instead of just being like the same thing as his captain, it should have been up to fifty percent, so that like when you move to the next stage, you heal one hundred percent of the oh, damage you took. Yep. Yeah, that should have been fifty percent for a super type. It would have been crazy. Like it would have been, it would have been insane in that sense too. So for sure, one point oh, three HP is really good too. So like, he have a good support. Yeah, he inflicts like toxic on his support. Pretty cool. Really? Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say his support yeah, he is a good support. His support is really, really good too. So like he he supports Hannibal. Say he, he wrote Sadie here. He wrote Daisy up there. <laughs> Sadie, Shu, Domino, and Sal Death. Once per adventure, when the supported character uses their uh, special, inflicts toxic to all enemies, starting at fifty x damage, and the limit is one million, which is actually a lot. Like, That's it's pretty a, good. It's a fair amount of Shane. damage there. So um, Shane is like no good units for the supports. <laughs> I mean, you never know. Maybe um the That's treasure map Shiri anymore. coming up. Treasure map Shiri Ooh, coming actually, up. Yeah, Shiri, yeah, yeah. yeah. Unless you're running that Sadie from Coliseum, right? What is the uh, Rare Recruit Hannibal that's a conditional boost against Toxic? Ooh, very true. 
That's good, actually. That's a good shout. I mean, and, and then Hannibal from um, Pirate Rumble, I guess, if you really want to like break mm-hmm. it down to brass tacks. So, um, uh huh. Always a always a positive thing there for sure. Yeah, It'll probably be that. better as time goes on. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Magellan's one of those legends. I feel like that's gonna age with like with like like fine wine. You know, like the longer the game goes on, the the more you're gonna we're gonna notice Magellan becoming like way way more useful. In, I mean, in, like, in time. like it's it's just crazy when you think about it. like, like just randomly, like later on down the line, if there's no boss that doesn't have like full immunity or poison or toxic immunity, and you just bring him on your team, you get two times affinity and two point five attack. It's a like, lot it's of damage. Like, it's a lot it's of wild. extra damage output there. So, uh, yeah, you know, always a always a good thing to have for sure. Um, I want to talk on his PvP. This motherfucker is <laughs> so good in PvP, bro. I I never in my life, man. I like, never in my that, like bro. new thing the hate. I don't even want to talk about anything else he does. The swift attack buff <laughs> is so goddamn broken, like it, not broken, but it is it is insane. Like I think Knight sent me a video from again Snaf King. He was like using an all quick team or whatever, and then Knight was like, "Oh, peep the peep this." Fucking Magellan comes in. He's like, "What's up?" And then he's like, uh, "The uh, versus Akainu. He's like, his special's ready to go." Magellan just puts him at the top of the order. Then it kind of just sweeps Fife Man. Like it's <laughs> it's ridic- kind of <laughs> it's ridiculous how yeah, good like, this Swift thing is. Mono Quick is like one of the best teams now. Yeah, we got Queen. Um, yeah, someone let me know what Queen did the other day in PvP. I'm like, Queen is shit. so good for, for a free to play good. unit. Holy crap! Queen yeah, is so good as well. Hey, she would have been called. Cool. She, she, they, it. Who hey, cares, man? It, like, yeah. she's a robot. Like, no, robot. but Magellan is really, Magellan is really, really good in like PvP as well. Like, you could argue, like, I don't know, quick team on the come up now. Like, and it's so unfortunate because like, Enel came out and side team had like their shot for like oh. three weeks, <laughs> and then Magellan comes out and you're like, all right, bet. Magellan, quick team's kind of brazy now. Hold on, on God, but uh, you know, it is what it is, as they say. Anything else on on Magellan, Magellan gentlemen, or are, you, are we ready to move on to some uh, some new legends, some some other legends that came out too? Let's let's move on. All right, yeah. we had V three Blackbeard come out as well, and this uh, now all right V three Blackbeard and V uh, sorry V one. I was about to say V two Moria, but Moria doesn't exist otherwise. Uh, and Moria, first of all, we knew Moria was coming. That's yeah, that's fair enough. But Blackbeard, did any of you guys? I mean, like, did any of you guys see like? Blackbeard coming out as a legend at all, like a V three Blackbeard no. at least now, or was this was this a complete like you know like uh from left field for you guys also? I'm I don't know. Surprised. I feel like if you're dropping Burgess and Vasco, there's no way in the hell like that, there's not he's not coming out. Yeah, yeah, it didn't make yeah. sense. Like we were talking about me and Naya, and I told him I was like, why like why they should be dropping Blackbeard, not Moria? Like Moria just pulled up to the island. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, more saying like you know, Mori should debut with another legend, right? And like, exactly. it, Blackbeard makes the most sense. Like I said on my stream that like I think a Blackbeard crew legend would have been pretty cool if they decided. Oh, no, man, Blackbeard and his gun. Let's go. Yeah, Blackbeard <laughs> and his hand, dude. The man has, <laughs> has the best hand. Got hands, bro. You're throwing them. Yeah. So yeah, he's a he's an interesting one for sure. All right. I don't know. Black. I, 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 I really want to hear your thoughts and opinions about this unit. All right. Blackbeard. Um, I'm just gonna read. I think we don't have to read the single legend ones. I think they're kind of like more or less. I know they're a bit different. Yeah, actually. fuck that. <laughs> All right, fuck that. That's too much time. Yeah, screw, right. screw the single. They're, it's a dual unit. Right? It's, it's a dual unit, but it's just Blackbeard, similar to V2 Big Mom. How she has like the two little forms, but then you have the Blackbeard. Same shit. Anyway, moving on. Um, driven in powerhouse characters by five X HP by one point seven five. After taking damage from the enemy, minus two cooldown to himself. At the start of each stage, cuts ten percent HP of all enemies that will ignore damage negating effects. Defense normal attacks only. When a crew, when a crew member triggers um, a special with percent damage reduction, threshold damage reduction, nullify damage. Um, reduces uh, regardless of the number of turns of that effect. Changes the special effect to for one turn. Boost attack of Driven and Powerhouse characters by 2x. So, I heard you like Driven and Powerhouse. So, let's... <laughs> oh, you guys... Oh, Powerhouse is bad? Just kidding. Now, <laughs> Powerhouse is never bad, though. That's the crazy part. But Powerhouse has yeah. so much goddamn support now. Like, so much support now. It's kind of insane. But, um... All right, let's break that down a little bit. 5x, um... 5x Good. Captain. 
fantastic for two classes again. Mm-hmm. So good. Flat flat five X. Yeah, yeah, flat five X too. One point seven five times. Is this the first flat? I mean, it is a dual unit, so never mind. Don't I take that yeah. back. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> HP by one point seven five is a lot. Um, but you really consider that he's in his single forms. You get in one point five increased damage taken. So I think I think it. What does it average out to? Like a one point two X HP boost or something like that. Then I think like yeah, that's what the math that. does. So like um, that goes away in the dual form, though, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. Is, which yep. is crazy. For eight um, turns after taking damage minus two cooldown i think that that's going to be privy to a lot of blackbeard units now that like that cooldown reduction from taking damage so uh i feel like, that's, like is, I, I like that effect where he just reduces yeah. cooldown after he takes damage i think that's fine and it works really well for the super type one but this unit has like a shit special so <laughs> well, I, yeah. think, I think the main reason they did it for this i was watching up subconti showcase and um when you're in the eight turns of black like the captain and you're taking damage not at the 1.5 times rate yeah. and getting your cooldowns you can just keep going back into your dual form very true, very easily true and consistently being a like your dual legend basically where you get all the benefits which is really really cool but that's also a bad thing as well because it means you can't use his switch ability just, to remove yeah special seal and despair yeah so yeah it's got pros and cons um 10 percent hp cut at the end of every turn at the start of every turn sorry and it goes through damage uh, it goes through uh defensive stuff Pretty good. Normal attacks only. Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah, this is the f- this is the first time, right, that we've seen Roger. it go through. Roger, so Roger. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I mean, like, always, always cool there for sure. I mean, that's a lot. That's good though. Ten percent like HP cut is is he, is hell strong. He's gonna be a beast in Kizuna. Oh yep. yeah, big. Facts, yeah, when you bro. start hitting that hundred million HP stuff, like yeah, that's kind of lit. Ten percent is a lot. Nineteen <laughs> percent with double black beard, so that's lit. Yep. Oh, I got them. I've got kind of big mum, guys. Hell no. Let's go. go. Don't ask questions. Oh, no. no. I went to, I think, 27 or 28. It's another 13. Yeah, it's the same thing. Anyway, moving on. That's not the point of the podcast. You guys, I hate my friend. That's all I'm going to say. (laughs) (laughs) When you you see my tweet of I hate my friends, you'll understand after you listen to this episode. 28th multi, I got them. In five star form, so fuck you guys. Yeah, man. <laughs> anyway, um, the regardless of the, all right. Anyway, regardless of the number of this is the interesting part. I feel like with Blackbeard, regardless of the number of turns of this effect, where these are being like the damage reduction, percent damage reduction effects you put on, turns it into an attack boost. What are you guys thoughts on the um? What are you guys thoughts on the attack boost there, or like that whole mechanic in general? Hmm. I think, I, it's a cool mechanic. I think it's a cool mechanic. I just don't like it in a sense, right? Oh, I just yeah. kind of realized that Legend Hody is kind of good for this guy. Everyone is, bro, Hody on the come up. Let's go. Hody actually really on the come good. up, dude. Hody yeah. is really good with this guy. So, um, so um, I don't know, yeah. man. Like, it's, it's a give or take kind of deal. So, um, I like what they're doing with it. And, like, it makes sense with Blackbeard. Like, the whole, like, I like that they, didn't remove the defensive aspect from him altogether like with Bardo Cavendish switches we were talking before the yeah. podcast how you can still actually get a defensive effect technically um and it makes sense with Blackbeard but like two times when, when we got like 2.5 times attack boosters now like and three times with Roger like two times where it can be good you can also hinder say like you're popping specials in the wrong orders and stuff like that and then you just lose heaps of damage yeah yeah um I guess you can technically get them to activate still if he's despaired, then you activate the special. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Yeah, so if he's despaired first... And then switch. Then you can switch to get rid of it, so you can still get a defensive effect. Dude, that's yeah. real cheeky. Yep. So, yes, right. um, first stuff. Oh. Go for, no, go first, go for it, sorry. No, I was right. just going to say, like, units like, um, like, for example, those two new rare recruits, uh, like, or boosters, like, when you have characters like that, then you just get, like, a... Or ban attack boost for that turn like that those are gonna be kind of crazy yeah yeah that's gonna be good as yeah. most of the time like you would probably maybe not even use those like on the boss stage so it's like you're gonna pop off with that 2x orb and attack with the 5x and he could also extend it too if mm. you really wanted to mm. yeah so so like the like the whole batch is like do a defensive effect and an orb boost so you get both but yeah, the, the, mm-hmm. the, the batch is the way, crazy I, for that yeah, yeah. The, the batch is kind of annoying right because they like remove like defensive effects or they do like utility but only for four turns don't they yeah yeah why, why? oh my god <laughs> all right special why? time i think yeah, his captain's okay 
I don't know. In my opinion, it's kind of yeah, whatever. I'm not a fan. Like if I'm if I'm running a driven powerhouse team, I'm not using black. He's a dual house. unit. Dual units are shit. That's that's the that's the hard and fast truth of everything, man. Like I would definitely much rather use the Moria. Or, Moria's brazy. Or Versa um, Kiner, man. Versa Kiner, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Kiner right there. Hello. All right, yeah. special for one turn adds uh one point to the chain. Whenever the captain is driven or powerhouse extends the turn of attack up and or boost on crew. Depending on the uh, total damage accumulated, um, so when you turn Blackbeard into his his uh, dual form, uh, he, uh, sorry, when he, when he turns to his dual form, it's a minimum of three turns, but you can max out at eight turns in this dual form if you acquire fifty thousand damage accumulated. Um, what are you guys' thoughts on the the ability to extend the the dual form, like the the, the duration of the dual form? Put him bad. Yeah, again, it's like, yeah, it's give yeah. and take. Mm. I think I think the only reason they've done this is because in his dual form he has that I mean he has it in his his um his gooda gooda form, but like he has that uh that ten percent HP cut at the start of each stage. So I guess that content that's gonna come out now will be like um big HP. Yeah, you either get you get big HP or you get damaged a lot early on. And then you can pop his special early on because you're taking damage. Or the or whole point or the, the boss reacts to attack or all boost or something. Yeah. I think yeah. I think what could occur, or like what I see his his kind of kit being, I mean, probably it's probably obvious to everyone, but like because he takes damage himself and minuses two turns of, of cooldown, um, actually, you know what? It doesn't make sense. No, I guess sorry, I, in his yummy form, he, remo he moves cooldown, yeah. I can kind yeah. of understand because like, you see like, you know, it's a two times attack boost that he makes with his captain effects, which when you think about it, in this day and age, two times attack boost is like not that much. Uh, but he's captain the face like a five times, so maybe they're like offsetting the fact that he doesn't get as bi as bigger attack boost unless if you use a special that is a big yeah. attack boost. He like just get grants you that health cut instead. So I don't know. Maybe that's the offset. I, I don't. Really, I don't know. I don't really get it. It's I weird. think. I think his kit is essentially you're in the Yami form, and you you take damage to accumulate up to fifty thousand early on, and then because you minus two turns of cooldown, you minus enough cooldown to use his special. And then yep. hopefully you'd have the situation where you've taken like more than, you know, uh, you've taken 50,000 damage and his special is ready to pop and then you use his special. You have eight turns of the dual form. Now, every time you enter a stage or every turn, you're doing the 10% HP cut plus you're in the dual form. So you have the five times attack boost, the big HP boost, you know? So like, I think that's mm. kind of his kit. So he's a very slow play legend which might be good again for GARP challenges and such. But for Kizna, I mean, it may be a little bit more challenging to make this guy really pop off in terms of like getting benefit out of his out of his kit per se. But I mean, at the same time, you're trying to kill very quickly in Kizna. But at least for GARP challenges, you can kind of um, get to that 50k threshold a lot easier. I think when he, when he works, he's going to work. Like he'll work very, very well when he works. But yeah. it's kind of like what Tob was saying before, like, it's just so many, in my opinion, there's just so many other better options as a powerhouse or driven leader now. Like with the right. Moria versus Kainu, like even like, um, what's the um, other powerhouse unit? Oh no, never mind. Um, Kaido as well. Magellan? Kaido. Kaido and Mag well, yeah, you yeah, can Magellan, Kaido well. versus Kainu. Um, versus, um, all yeah, that versus, kind of versus stuff, Kaido, you know. Sorry. Versus Kaido, so, even. It's like there's plenty of better options. Correct. Yeah. So it's kind of like, and driven yeah. captain. And then the best thing about dual units as well is like their yeah, switch abilities, right? And using yep. them as subs, I think that's what makes them so viable, I guess. Yeah. Um. And just his switch ability, removing despair as a sub, like it's useless, basically. Sure. It you can get removes. All right. So let's, let's, it doesn't actually benefit your team. Yeah. He's let's like, pop in that switch ability real quick. Sorry. His switch so, ability is built as yeah. if like you have to use him as the as captain, a captain yeah. right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That's the problem. So like yeah. it's like. If you're not using him as captain, like where else are you using him? And it's just, like I said, it's just better options. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's pop in that switch ability yeah. real quick. Completely removes special seal and despair on himself. Changes the own orb to matching, which includes block orbs as well. It it doesn't work for a sailor. It just it just doesn't work as a as a sailor at all. Because special seal on himself, I mean, that's great. Like I mean, in general, it's great. special it, seal it, is fantastic. It's but fine if you're special, if you're special is good, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but generally, a lot of the time, you won't have situation. I mean, you do, but like a lot of the time, you won't have situations where like 
your sailor's special suit. A lot of time they were do for captains or particular units, stuff like that. But like, he doesn't remove special seal at all in his kit whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And that's the issue I find there. If in his special, he reduced special seal as well, you'd have, oh, yeah, I think yeah. he'd become a lot better as a sub because the chain boost, don't get it twisted, is actually really good. Like a 1.0 chain boost is a lot of damage. I mean, like you can show that in units kind of like, you know, uh, super type Sabo and such, where like chain boost can really like uh, push damage and, you know, units like yeah, Sugar, Germa, yeah. you know, like that, that kind of stuff. So chain boost yeah, really does the push the envelope. Yeah, lore as well. Fantastic with that stuff. But um, his special, his switchability do not, there's no synergy whatsoever there, which is kind of concerning in a sense. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I agree. Yeah, um, for me... Go for it, no, sorry. Oh. For yeah, me, yeah. personally, I, I'm not a huge fan of his, like, special or his, like, real kit in general. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like at the 1x um, chain boost is, like, whatever, personally. Yeah, Because I enough. feel like when you have, like, versus a kind who gives you, like, a 3.5 chain lock, and then, like, <laughs> when you have, like, the law yeah. and the uh, versus ace special, mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. like, those are whatever at the end of the day you could just do like add like a small chain boost and then you get something way bigger than one yep. x nowadays yeah and then also like as a sub he's like i mean like if you're not using him as a captain he's kind of dog shit and like the only reason why i would, i would probably consider using him is so i could extend my v my versus a kind to a 3x yep. or boost and yep. then yeah use it with the Kizuna Dofi so I could get a three-turn chain lock. For like, sure. That's my only thing. But I, I might as well just use, like, the in Dofi yep, for that, cool. and I can get just better. turns of warp. <laughs> way better. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. Warps, man. Like, I just, I, I, I fail, like, I fail to see where they kind of thought a kind of would, it's not a kind of, sorry, a kind of crazy. Where they, where they, I, I fail to see where they, like, where they're thinking of, where this Blackbeard unit would fit in the current meta. And I don't think he fit like he doesn't work as a sub. As a captain, he is quite tedious because he is a dual unit. And I think people have come around to that notion of of dual units as captains is very tedious and you know it's very hard to, to to play with them and, and such. So um I don't know. I, I mean like hopefully with time he'll maybe like become better and better but I just don't see where he's where he's coming like where where, where he's going to be beneficial for for the current meta and such. So I mean, at least it's an easy skip, at least on his end. Um, anything he else? He does have um he does have actually pretty decent pirate rumble stuff. Yes, I'll get into that real quick. Yeah, he's pirate rumble abilities. On the rest again. <laughs> um, two times as so a two X characters attack and, and damage to enemies in a large range. All enemies level five speed down. This is special. Sorry, at max level. 100% chance to put movement seal on two enemies that have more than 80% CT. That's really cool. interesting. That that I little like that. that part of the very end there is 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 very clutch because you're going to have situations where like enemies are going to come in to attack let's let's say things like um units like Kizaru like, imagine, and such imagine as well. Like, imagine like blocking Odin because like Odin, well, Odin attacks, like that is devastating. So, so you have, it has oh, nice. it it has pushed in to becoming very strong again in, ter in terms yeah, of um, lore as well. Like. Yeah, exactly. You have this whole you have a, a whole kit centered around this this in stuff of like of movement seal and special seal and such which is which is huge, right? Um his ability oh, oh, too powerhouse driven allies 5x uh, level 5 attack level 5 hp all enemies level uh, 3 speed down speed down is really good and i think people sleep on um on the speed on the speed aspect of things so um you know removing that speed down like will make that like that slasher team a, at least a little hindered a little debuff there because you know mm. you have you have the factors like carrot and and kizaru that are buffing your your, your speed and your CT charge and such. So like removing the speed down means that you can attack a lot more often and it's going to, it's going to come out to be a lot stronger there. Um, and his resistance is he resists, um, he's immune to special seal and movement seal, which is crazy, you know? That's so kind of nice. Yeah. He's, he's a very good unit there, but I don't know. I like, <laughs> What are you replacing in the int team for this guy though? Like Joe's yeah. probably super tight Blackbeard. Blackbeard, yep. I mean, I mean, there you go, right? 
and straight upgrade. I, I mean, that super type Blackbeard is a lot of damage output, though. He's like kind of yeah, that damage output. The tank. thing about that Blackbeard is, is um, I just I like this. I like this Blackbeard's passive a lot better. The passive is good. I mean, driven powerhouse is really There's good. The current black I can't remember what the current Blackbeard does, but this guy has like level five attack and HP, and then yep. also debuffs the enemies as well. Yep. Like that's kind of I think that kind of stuff is very uh slept on in a sense. And too. I like the his special is not only just damage, like obviously the, the current super type Blackbeard does that, but this guy he's like he does the damage, but then he also can nerf the enemies from attacking you, which I think is very useful. Mm. So Yeah, that's the most thing, fun part about using the um the Halloween slashes using like Shanks and yeah. Mihawk, uh, sorry, Shanks and Lore on the same team. Yeah. You can literally just stop them from doing anything and especially Odin. Because Law normally pops off right before Odin does. You just lock his special, and then they just sit there and just like, okay, cool. I'm gonna get clapped now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So current yeah. current Blackbeard <laughs> is level five HP to int, and then if he's below sixty percent, gives himself level five CT up. Nah, that's not good in comparison. Yeah. yeah. This guy's like way better. I mean, like, and this guy does open the floor for Driven and Powerhouse teams in themselves as well. Yeah. Like he's not just for int. You know, I mean, like, well, I think I think at the moment with PvP, Knight can correct me. Like colors are way more meta way more meta than than classes are i feel like at the moment you have like in yeah. you have quick you have no, sigh aside, aside from slasher and then and then i think but i think below that like you have i think right now you'd say quick or sigh is the best color then i would argue right now because moria when we get into moria mm. is very good as well for like and then in would be there and then you'd have like slasher i feel like would be the next um mm. the next point there Speaking on Moria, though, we ready to hop into to this oh, jabroni? Man. All right, Moria. Yeah, Moria, yeah. Moria not only is a really cool character, but he has one of the best ink arts in the game. Bro, those bats, man, they're jamming. They, they are so jigging. Good. All right. I love it. Captain for Moria. Driven to power has characters by uh, attack by 5x with a matching orb, 4.5 times otherwise, HP 1.3. At the end of the turn, heal 0.5, the character's recovery for each perfect you hit this turn. At the end of the enemy turn, heal 50% total recovery of cruise, uh, total re total recovery of cruise times the amount of enemies defeated with, the normal, with normal attacks only. So if you defeat six enemies, you heal six times the cruise reco total recovery, or 50% 50, 50 yeah. of that total, sorry. So in, obviously that, that, that plays with how, however much you need um wow uh, 5x uh, attack boost of driven powerhouse 4.5 times otherwise so you have a 4x in it it's already better than blackbeard way better <laughs> Black, blackbeard in a single form is 4x these this jabroni here 4.5x base to start off with and a and a matching orb is not hard to find these days so you get a 5x attack boost with that that and the healing is huge too. Bro, the I healing mechanic is crazy, bro. Endurance, man. Endurance. It's the healing, man. Yeah, he, he's going to be so nuts. Holy. When you, can, when you can guarantee healing, like on characters, it is actually one of the most broken abilities in the entire game. If you can guarantee it, it's yeah, ridiculous. Right. And after using Big Mom for a little while, like the Big Mom versus Kaido, um, yeah. just getting that heal by killing oh, enemies is Oh, really, yeah. When you launch really that burst effect, really you basically go back to full. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it's like, it's like 30k healing just by killing enemies. And, yeah. and you can go through defensive effects, which makes it easier to even just kill one enemy. And that's like a 7k heal. And then you've got Selma Orbs hitting perfect. Like Healing can be ridiculously strong if it is guaranteed. Not only that, though, you have the heal from perfects, but you also have at the end of the enemy's turn, you heal as well. If you yep. killed... Stay like, obviously, like, and you know, you're gonna heal crazy there. And he has pinch healing, which is just <laughs> fucking broken. Don't do like, how does Bandai have this weird disparage between creating Blackbeard and creating Moria? Like, it's a very yeah, weird, like, you would have thought Blackbeard would have been the fastest, would have been the with, exactly, you thought, right? Yeah, if, you always think about that in a sense, right? You're like, I think, I think the normies are gonna think Blackbeard's better, but realistically, <laughs> it's not. Is that what we're calling them now? <laughs> the, the, the normies. 
before you before you dig into it though, like Blackbeard just looks like way cooler. Before you start looking at like what the actual oh yeah oh yeah for, oh, sure. Yeah, for like, sure. Someone said to me, "Yo, oh, you got a dual unit Blackbeard that can swap between his uh, Dark Fruit and his Quake Quake, and then you got Moria." I'd be like, "Yo, give me the Blackbeard!" It's like what? Yeah, exactly. Sure. At all times, you're gonna be like, if you look alone, you're like Blackbeard. But this Moria yeah. fucking brazy, man. and it's always like that with Treasure Cruise though. A lot of the time, like the the poster boy, like Legends and stuff, will not be as good and will not age as well as those like offshoot legends like i think todd in a stream was mentioning like sugar like we all thought sugar was going to be dookie yeah sugar <laughs> sugar is still like one like in my opinion one of the most enjoyable legends to use and she like, yeah her, her unique like, ability is um, crazy just like uh shanks crew and arlong crew like who's using shanks crew these days me me still i'm Shane. still using them i she love shanks <laughs> No, dude, really. put, Don't put, remind me bro, of Bro, put Rayleigh in the bin. Literally put... I'm going to exactly. delete... I'm deleting him right now. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Maybe I actually go. used to be Rayleigh in content the other day, actually. Yeah, that's, I used to him a couple times recently. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I that's, did. That's too, the, unfortunately. Bro, you actually guys are terrible. bugging. You guys are bugging for doing that. But, I mean, you respected the, so co- the content hustle always. You got, you got to push, man. That's it, man. <laughs> as long as you can get guaranteed slots, he's actually not bad. Yep. Right, well, Especially in Call of Fame, like that turn, yeah, yeah. like on page four, you just like boom, catch up. He still sucks in my eyes. Anyway, yeah, uh, Moria's bad. special changes all orbs to matching orbs. Well, there you go. For one turn, boost the orbs of Juven and Powers characters by 2.5x. For one turn, nullify damage over 2,000 from each enemy. After one turn has passed, boost the color affinity of Juven and Powers characters for normal attacks. Well, I don't know why I said that. Just boost color affinity of Juven yeah. and Powerhouse by 2.25. So he doesn't get rid of block orbs, which is like the only bad thing about the special. If there is a bad thing. Yeah. Yes. But like but... the fact that, like this guy's really cool because you get the orb boost turn one, which is great, but then you nullify damage over two thousand from each enemy. So essentially yeah. you don't die that turn. And if you and you activate the nullification, so you don't die that turn. And if you kill enemies, you heal back a bunch. And you hit perfects, you heal back a bunch. So it's great offensively, great defensively, and then you get a boost in the following turn too. Like it's so good. Yeah, he's Gotta well designed. It. He's a very, very well designed unit. I think yep. again, yeah. it's like it's kind of like sorry, Knight. It's kind of like one of those one of those yep. things where it's like um, like we we I think Blackbeard from now on is gonna have that same mechanic of being like every time he gets hit, he reduces cooldown. But I feel like now what's gonna happen with Moria's at least I don't know how many more Moria's we're gonna get in the future, but it might follow the same kind of pattern where because I mean like his Kizna one is the same thing, right? After a certain amount of turns, something there's a, there's another buff yes. or whatever, right? And I feel I like it's, it's gonna be it's I think it's gonna follow suit with with all the Mario Legends. I mean, this is fantastic. You get that you get that powerhouse boost, like that orb boost, two point five orb boost is crazy as well in itself, right? And the next turn you get the color affinity. So if if a unit if a uh, stage has a revive mechanic, at least you're coming at it at that stage with um, you know. And you have another boost on top of it to, to at least output more damage there. And his sailor effect too. I just looked at that now. Reduce one turn to special seal on the crew. Ooh. Ooh. That's cool. <laughs> Blackbeard's like, bro, but I reduce on myself, man. <laughs> Come on, dog. And he's got a 12 turn cooldown as well. Like that's Which is so weird. busted, dude. Like, and he has a super type special. <laughs> yes. And he's super type, <laughs> he's super type condition. I think is this is the first time we've seen this as a condition, right? So his yes. condition yeah. is his crew has to consist of six driven and, and powerhouse characters. Easy. So dri- simple to do Driven that. and powerhouse. Does that driven mean and- like driven or powerhouse? I think so, right? I hope I so. I believe so, but if I, can, I can see. Have a look real quick. If, if you- it's driven and powerhouse, that sort of changes things a little bit. Not hugely, but because there's just been so much support from them recently. But if it's driven or powerhouse, like, yo, that's just stupid easy to get. Yeah. Like, but on no, that, man, it's, super- the units have to both be driven and powerhouse. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> they do? Please. No, no, no I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, <laughs> the, I, I hope that's not the case, but like. If it is, <laughs> yeah. if it is uh, we're out. We're out. <laughs> um, um, all right. Sp- uh, special, sorry. Uh, so, Super Tight Special is 75 times type of damage to all enemies. And I'm assuming, obviously, that goes through. Does that go through? Defensive stuff, or is that just uninterruptible? I don't, I don't think it mentioned that. I think it's okay. just damage. And then minus one cooldown to uh, driven and powerhouse characters. And he locks orbs, bro. Yeah, that's huge. 
This is what German, so not German, this is what Sweet Commanders should have done. This is the yeah. exact correct thing Sweet Commanders should have done with their super type ability. It should have been damage, lock orbs, and cooldown, and then their super type ability would have been so much better than what it is right now. So much. Yep. I totally agree, because uh, the fact that you can, you know, launch a special, change your orbs into matching, yep. super type special, yep. lock the orbs, Yep. GG. And then you get the minus one cooldown just to have it there. And then the yep. following turn, you have a full board of matching orbs. And now you have a color affinity boost. Brazy. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, color affinity boost. Brazy. Like, yeah, you know, the, the minus cool. cooldown is so good. Like, you can use it to resist the special reverse debuff. Like, I did that with, um, uh, what's it, what's the name? Sweet Commanders versus yeah. the Shinobu Raid that just came out yeah. on stage four. Yeah. They're having the ability to just minus cooldown is actually, like, kind of useful. But it's just it's such a shame that Sweet Commanders, like, that's all they do. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas this guy actually can do other things, which is nice. If they locked orbs... That would have been so much crazier, I feel like. Like locking oh, orbs nice. is locking orbs is a very uh, underrated especially mechanic. For strength teams, right? Strength teams with Odin in there as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, yeah. I took words out of my mouth. I think I think yeah, locking lock orbs, orbs. Is, yeah, yeah, locking orbs is a very underrated mechanic in Trader Cruise, I feel like. Like having that ability to go to a next stage or go to like another turn with with full board of orbs or full board of one orbs or rainbow orbs or whatever you have whatever have you like. Um crazy in itself i feel like i feel like there's definitely um yeah exactly there's a lot of it's potential there for them yeah you can exactly. abuse i tested it oh, and oh go for right. it i tested it and you don't need to have both classes let's go uh, this, uh, unit, this unit is busted go. Go to yeah. unit i actually sure. really want this unit yeah so i'm glad they did more justice too though i like that they like you said with sugar like they make these units like really like desirable yeah otherwise like you'd be looking at like ah oh, like moria like i don't want moria but like Moria. you look at him like what he does you're like Yo, Whoa, hold, hold on. on this guy got a brazy <laughs> I'm, sh I'm sure there's gonna be people out there they're gonna be upset as like oh there's no like zombie mechanic or like shut he, up. like make characters into zombies or something but like shut up that's what on, i bro. say to you shut up no one wants <laughs> the zombie bro it's a, it's a gotcha game be happy with what you have not what you desire yeah. my friends exactly hey hey man's, hey, man's good shit to live by Hold on, that's good shit to live by, bro. Be happy with what you have. Shut up, you yeah, greedy man. fucks. I'm not one to talk. I just, <laughs> oh, I'm not one to talk. I just did. I just did. I just did, I just did 13 more multis. I'm kind of big mum to get them, but um, <laughs> you know, yeah, but, um, you should be happy about those rare recruits, huh? That's right. Exactly, bro. You got to see the silver linings in situations, man. You got the um, spare king for me, Pappy. I actually got an. I got a. I did, I did get another king. I also got another Luffy signed you. So eat your heart out, bro. <laughs> this guy right here. <laughs> What's going um, on? God damn. All dude. right, his his uh, support ability. Uh, on the final stage of the adventure, for one turn, boost the color affinity of driven characters for normal. Uh, why do I keep saying that? Color shit? affinity. Boost the color affinity of driven characters by one point five. And then it, mm -hmm. that's for in characters that are also driven. So it has to be so an good. in driven character. That's fine. That is fine. Yeah, it's so very great. easy to do. I mean, exactly. it's, it's driven. It's driven color affinity, so you're gonna have it in a driven unit in the first place. But Correct. It, just, it just has to be an int unit, so it's not that bad. Not that bad. But it's also really good. In face Black NL. Dude. Um, Legend NL had the same thing, right? But he was for Psy enemies, but uh, for Psy characters. But I think he had to attach to a Psy unit that was also driven. Yeah. For his support. That's, so, a bit, that's a bit trickier. Yeah, that's a little bit more annoying, but. But it's really good. like it's really yeah. good though. Like to, like these supports and stuff are becoming very very. I good. like that debuting legends have amazing supports now. It's so good. Yeah, uh, freaking no time. There are stat boosters. Yep. No more stat boosting, please. Yeah. Um, have enough and then his pirate rumble stuff. Seventeen. Yep. So at level. Uh, so he's special at max level. Seventeen hundred fixed damage to enemies in a large range. A hundred percent chance to half the stats of three enemies. That's disgusting. And it's on a twenty-six CT. And then he, that, <laughs> but and but that that reduction goes for twenty seconds. Yeah, so you can just keep popping that. What? Hundred percent chance to half the stats is absolutely disgusting. Like it's genuinely like really really good, especially because like these days. Teams are able to get up to like 20 to 35 for like attack up and stuff like that. Yep. So to half that on three enemies, obviously there's a there's an element of chance there. It's not like on the high stats or whatever. But like regardless of what I mean, for the slasher team, all the slashers are getting like a 20, like level 20 attack boost or whatever, right? Yeah, so they're to half really that, fast, really fast and really strong. Yeah. Exactly. To half that, yeah. and that's the half stats. So oh, all those get yeah, get reduced as well. Does that does that count for like CT buffs as well? Um, 
I I think that's a I, I think that's or considered that's a, a buff. I think, that's separate. I think stats are just like HP, attack, defense. Like the, yeah, the ones on the, the ones on the bottom. Too. I think yep. I think that's what stats are. At right, least yeah, in, yeah. In, in in their world. Um, that's I'm really good though. Down. Uh, his ability. So he's passive. In allies level five HP at level three defense up from the start of the battle for thirty seconds. Level three CT charge rate to himself. So you're gonna you're gonna pop that oh, half oh, stat really quickly, uh, really early on at least. Um, what? Really good. I posted a video in general. Like, what was that? Sorry, not. Yeah, I saw. I posted a Moria PvP video in general. If you guys want to look at it in action, it's really crazy. I saw this the other day. All right, you guys can peep that. I'm gonna give my thoughts here. Um, I think Moria is really, really good for defensive teams. Yep. He will, I think him alone can bring back that four man int defense team mm -hmm. because level five HP at level three defense up is really good. That with Dofi, ooh. Plus yeah, with, with, with Doflamingo, you get more defense oh, and up. Yeah. And yeah. Anil, yeah. you get you get more defense up, you know, like, and you're, the thing is, you have that again endurance you know what i mean where it's like yeah. you have that survivability plus four man is gonna be really good plus halving stats of the enemy as well fixed damage is crazy you can run katakuri with him too that's a lot of that's a lot of fixed damage output there and people people are asleep because fixed damage can be reduced by guard rate up but no one really thinks about using guard rate up on teams everyone's very much fixated on um defense. on just defense guard's, alone right but guard's still rng right God, exactly. So, um, I think this yeah. unit is very good for um for defensive teams, at least on like on your defensive side. Um, and his immunity or his resistances, he re he resists special seal, really strong, and he reduces thirty percent of incoming side damage. Damn, good. <laughs> damn, yeah, <it's laughs> like that's side yeah, damage. That's, that's what I mean. Rip like they made Anil a PvP exclusive legend, and then they nerfed yeah, they him. They know him straight away. Like, come on, dog. You can't do that to the boy. I don't, I, don't, I do not see how in any way people can think Blackbeard is better than Moria. Yeah, no, I'm with yeah, you. What, you said yeah. noobs, right? Noobs will see that. Yeah, noobies. the normies. Fucking normies, you jabronis. Bunch of... These people ain't poggy woggies. That's what I'm saying. Moria <laughs> is legitimately insane. Moria is really good. All right, question then. With, with global... As a global perspective, is Moria considered... A, a must pull legend? Nah. Nah, still no, I say that. I'd say versus a kind is better. 100%. You know I, mean? I think if you're going to dump it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, on the low, low, like, all these legends that we talked about, we all using them on, on the versus a kind team. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah. the, the funny thing is that you're right, Flay. Like, everything <laughs> everything we've discussed, we're like, yo, this would work really well with the versus a kind of, So, like, if you haven't got yeah, the... it's like their captains are like crazy, but like I'm versus Kainu though, bro. <laughs> like yeah. If, yeah. you need you need the catalyst, and I think versus Kainu is that is the catalyst to making all of these units like ten times better, you know. But if you don't have the versus Kainu, you're not gonna get you're not gonna get too far with um with it. So yeah, 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 it's, 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 it's crazy though because like they, they all work so well together because like Akai News like he has the burn conditional with the chain lock and then you have like Magellan with the uh the attack boost and the affinity and then you got mm. Moria with the like the orb boost like <laughs> that's all work so good. Yeah, Submonst too, man. Like Submonst can make a comeback with the with the powerhouse teams True. as a sub. True. The way that I see it as well is like, if you're deciding, oh, where should I spend my gems? I think versus a kind of legit is the best value because you get ace alongside it. Correct. Right? So I you, think you, versus yeah. banners will always be high value, unless the the unit is actually garbage. But I, think will, I don't I think, think that will happen. How they're going to make a bad versus unit? Exactly. Yeah, hundred percent. You give like, them a flat rate five times, like you're already on the right path. Exactly right. So like, I feel like I think the safest bet is always to pull on versus banners. Or but super then, Sugos. or Super Sugos, you know, uh, and Super Sugos actually, you know. So like, I feel like that's always going to be this situation where it's like, you have the versus banners, you have the Super Sugo banners. They're always the ones you want to pull on. But you might get legends, let's say like Magellan, like Moria, where like, oh, you could throw a couple multis that way, or even like PvP Enel as well. We could throw a couple multis that way, and you know, maybe something happens. Maybe you, you get shafted. Like, but in terms of safety, I, I mean, nets on, there, on the low ski. Global is not going to get it, but if we get that that CYO, that CYO was pretty crazy. On that JP. CYO was busted, man. 
Well, global won't get that, man. Unfortunately, if, if but... global gets that, I, I don't think it would too be. I don't think it would be too crazy to pull from Magellan. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. Like it's just because a lot of those legends will like. You know, I think a lot of people are kind of fixated on global at least on skipping legends like the V two uh, dual units, and potentially even skipping things like Zoro and 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 V two Kaido as well. Like so, to skip those legends, I think if people if people are kind of adamant on skipping those legends, they will pop up um, in a choose your own to go fest as the highest voted legends there anyway. And if Magellan's available on that choose your own Sugo alongside those uh, voted legends, now you get the situation where potentially pulling for Magellan becomes a lot more valuable in a sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see that. All right. Do you guys want to go through the rare recruits and stuff like that? Or you whatever's? Yeah, rare recruits are rare yeah. recruits. Rare recruits are rare recruits. Yeah. All of them, yeah, all of them essentially do like... Beard buffers. <laughs> yeah. All of them essentially yeah. do like some form of uh, utility... And then they do a, a they do a reduced damage, so you get the attack boost with Blackbeard, and then they boost something else. Whatever. They just right. solidifies that uh, Mori is better. Like you just look at how many how much support Blackbeard is being given through the rare recruits. They're forcing him to be good as well by giving him all the like support. Mori better. <laughs> but Mori is still is better, dude. All right, that's about that. There. I want to quickly we'll jump into um new Treasure Cruise commercial. If you guys haven't seen yet, it's on the JP Twitter. Oh yeah. Um, very cool commercial. You know, they got they they hired me to do the rap, and um, what what and then uh, what what they did was um, they snuck in a white beard sneaky. art, so sneaky. Yeah. This white beard art has not been seen. Um, we don't know who this white beard is, what he's doing. He's doing God knows what. Um, but he's in there and he's been noticed by the community. Um, what do you guys think? Who do you think? Who do you think this white beard is meant to be? Where do you think he's meant to like? Is he the versus unit? Is he just a random white beard that we haven't gotten yet? Like, what are your thoughts I, on this thing? I don't see it being the versus unit. Honestly. I hope it I isn't. Hope That's the worst I art of not. all time, bro. That's the versus unit. <laughs> People are speculating yeah. that since it's cut off, you can't see Shanks. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's enough space for for Shanks to be on there. I think that's just like gonna be. Like, I feel like if Shanks was on the artwork, we would have seen him. Yes. And also, no. I don't want I don't want old white beard fighter and old Shanks. I want like young white beard. Young well. looking, yeah, but, you know, I want I, something like that, right? Like, doubt it. You want you want young white beard fighting Kid Shanks? Let's go, bro. <laughs> kid, bro, Kid Shanks legend would be crazy, man. That'd be sick as hell. Kid Shanks versus Kid Buggy. Yo, yes, sir. Kid Shanks versus Kid Blackbeard. Hold on. Yo, oh, oh, I'm in. Cool. That'd be cool. All right. No, I, like, um, I like what we said earlier with Kirby versus Akainu. That's what I want. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, give boy. me another. Just, wait, okay. just opportunity, mate. Versus Akainu 6 plus, just you kick Ace out, you get Kobe instead. Kobe. <laughs> yeah. I mean, speaking <laughs> of 6 pluses, when are we ever getting a duel unit 6 plus? Okay. Is that, is that all, right, all right. All right. You're, you're asking Not too much there, mate. but that's too hard. That's too hard, bro. We can't do that kind Watch of stuff. Watch the race job next month i mean in a couple days man it's gonna be a duel unit everyone's gonna be, oh shit bro I, bro I cannot I wait so. bro you would be hilarious if the if in the ray shop they do the skill books for a duel unit and then it's not a six plus duel unit people oh, will be no. so furious <laughs> and then yeah they put the new blackbeard skill books in there <laughs> like yo let's go <laughs> bro people now imagine will... they make a v2 <laughs> oh my god don't do it I'll be upset. No. All right. I think there's not really much there in that kind of art, but I think it's a little sneaky. I know we don't know where this white bit's going to come from, but hey, who knows, right? It might be something on the horizon there for sure. But um, what we have known from the uh, JP up, uh, not update, sorry, but the the news in the in, in the JP version, uh, there will be a new version update coming in April for the JP version of One Piece Treasure Cruise. With okay. this update, they have specified in particular they will be removing friend rankings, bounties, and skill books slash manual islands, and then hoping to replace them later on down the line with better versions or different mechanics in that sense. Thoughts? Hmm. Scary. Losing my bounty? Bro, yeah, well, my, my, my friend ranking, bro. I can't. I, where am I going to see the modders in my friend list now? You know what I mean? No, it's because <laughs> they're making way for the new friend ranking alliance system let's go i don't know i don't know um <laughs> sk look bro skill book island removal is kind of annoying though 
Yeah, I, I don't understand why they just remove content, to be honest. Like, I don't... I think of a deal by leaving it there. Like, I don't like yeah. that. I don't like yeah. how you're removing the school book because then it just makes it way harder for people that are starting to play the game or like starting again or new accounts or whatever to go back and farm like skill ups for um for these units unless i mean like wait wait hold on so those um the skill book islands are like they're like restructured fortnites though right at the moment yeah like i guess they're only removing this like so then what are they removing the skill book islands themselves or they're removing those fortnite islands i have no no idea idea. because like at the moment it's it's like at the moment it's like you have the skill book island but you also have like you can get the um you can get the Fortnite units. You got like the manual acquirement quests there for like Psy, Int, um Yeah, the random units. Well, I haven't done any of them. I'm looking at them now. They're just zero out of nine. So <laughs> <laughs> um I just like I don't understand why they remove the content. It goes back to, back to the turtle thing as well. Like turtle, I'm like, yeah. I just don't what, like why remove it? Like it's already there. Like is it that much of a hindrance to game started down or whatever to just leave them there? Like I think it's because they don't want people um, getting EXP too easily as well. So maybe yeah. maybe they're going to start to introduce mechanics um, based around pirate level more so. Maybe. Hopefully. So like, you know, they want you to grind pirate level in a sense, but they don't want you just to get it for free. Or I don't, I don't know. That's like, that's just me like tin foil hat theorying right there. But it, it I agree. It makes no sense why I'd remove like, okay, friend rankings and bounties or whatever, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, they're kind of, yeah. Like, the only cool thing about them was, like, if you did, the if you did like, the friend ranking thing, you'd get, like, 10 gems or whatever, which is awesome. More gems, the yeah. better, right? But the bounties was... Unfortunately, the bounties was, like... The only thing the bounty showed was this person has been playing since the start of the game or this right. person is new or anything of the sort. Like, so that was the only... You could determine how long someone's been playing depending on how high their bounty was. But it's not, like bounties meant much otherwise maybe if they had a system where like, if you came first in a blitz battle or first in treasure map you'd increase your bounty in a sense too so like maybe then it would show that you're a more skilled player or you rank high a lot of the time so there's more value there but potentially what they could do with the bounty system i feel like is incorporate the bounty system into pirate rumble where mm. like if you are on, if you are attacking or on a win streak, your defensive team now is has has a higher bounty, which means it has more value to verse and to beat. So let's yeah. say Stumps on a fifty win streak or whatever right now. Um, now it's 52, 52, all right. There you go. He's on a fifty two <laughs> win streak right now. <laughs> now when I see him in the in the when I'm when I'm looking for teams to verse, his defensive team now has a value of like let's say 52 points in comparison to the cap of 27. You know what I mean? So maybe that, maybe that they could do something like that with bounties where like, if you're on a win streak in PVP, now there's more of a value to verse your defensive team or something like that. Like, you know, so they could kind of incorporate things in that kind of sense, but that's too complicated. That's too complicated for the devs to do. (laughs) You could do something like what they do with Kizuna. You know how you get like the Kizuna stars and like you can assist people. Yep. That's a really good good idea too. If they could implement a way to that, like not into like regular gameplay, but like into like treasure map or something like that, it might make treasure map a little bit more bearable for some people. Maybe oh, well, you're, like well, you're asking one... the, you're asking the devs to implement something, Stump. You, yeah, uh, true. Oh, true, 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 true. You, you've been playing Treasure Cruise. <laughs> uh, wait, do you play yeah, Treasure Cruise? Yeah, yeah, do you, yeah. do you play, <laughs> wait, do you play Treasure Cruise? The Probably devs don't implement much. shit. What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that about does it for the news, though, gentlemen. We kind of we kind of went off there, so uh. Um, no. in, we'll go quickly in other news everyone's favorite segment um, in other news uh, Global will be getting the V3 cruise on Pyre Rumble buff yay alright in <laughs> everyone's favorite segment after their favorite segment it's the Q&A time yay, yay. <laughs> now everyone's Woo. really excited for this um, so as per usual if you have questions make sure to send them in to us on um, Twitter at GGP Podcast and on our YouTube community tab uh, we got a lot of questions, and I want to uh, shout out to all the fans out there. What's up, y'all? Um, thank you guys for all the support on this episode in particular because everyone was 
hella excited to have Stump join us today. And everyone's like, about time. So I'm, I apologize, guys. I no, took no my time, with, Happy to be here. Took my time with Jabroni Stump over there. Sweat Mare. Yeah. Sweat Mare over there too. Flamey <laughs> Sweat hey. and Toad Sweat. Um, so uh, the Sweat Gang is here. Um, let's just hop right into these questions. Okay, from Twitter, at iBlasterX, he asks, JP Any Legends, comma, predictions. Right, off the top Luffy. of the dome. Off the top of the dome. Fuck off. <laughs> 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 That's not a prediction, man. Anything else you guys predict for JP Any Legends? Uh, I have two ideas. All right, hit it. First idea is two versus units. Law versus yeah. Dofi, Luffy versus Katakuri. Genius. Uh, second idea would be a super type unit that's Luffy Law Kid. Nice. And something else. I don't know what else, but Luffy Law Kid works. Yeah, I can see that. Or color. Uh, strength. No, Dex. Of course. Make him Dex. Dex. Oh my god, Dex suck. Bro, actually, well, actually, you know what? That would be fine if they did Dex super type, but then like not. He's not a Dex captain. You know what I mean? Kind of like Moria yeah. or like Roger. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean. Fine. I'll be okay with that. All right. Make it happen, Bandai. We've, 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 we've generated an anniversary for you guys. There you go. <laughs> Anything else from the from the crew? Any other ideas? I think what everyone wants is like the big one, the big Roger vs. Whitebeard. Oh, my God. That would be so insane. What if that art was the Roger vs. Whitebeard art? No, he's old. <laughs> nah. Yeah, he's old Whitebeard. What and if, then what? parallel with something like... Um, oh, let's, go, let's kind of get into manga spoilers, but like Kaido implementing like Kaido versus like Odin or Kaido versus someone else. I'm not going to mention, but... Yeah, Kaido versus Odin would be fucking tight. That would be mm. sick, dude. And it would kind of mm. work in a sense too, right? Because you'd have like yeah. Kaido versus Odin and you'd have like Roger versus Whitebeard. So you'd be bringing back like Roger and stuff too. So that'd yeah, be like and... very, very cool. Mm. I think we should go back to Whole Cake, get the Super versus <laughs> Kaido Curry. Then we can get maybe another, uh, another Pudding. No, no, no. Get him out. 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 We will get something to do with Yamato eventually, especially after the um, the uh, what is it? The the worldwide like ranking mm, for um, like yeah. for like for like the worldwide One Piece like character ranking list or whatever it was. So um, mm -hmm. I think there's definitely oh, a right. chance. Yeah, there's definitely a chance that uh, it's, Yamato... a it's a very popular character. So yes, they know that that's a good way for them to sell. You want money? Though. You want mula? There you go. Yeah, so. <laughs> There's your, there's your shot right there. Yeah, but watch. They'll do it like, oh, treasure map restricted or like... No, no. Don't put Legend Jozu. Yo, let's go. Legend Jozu. Making a comeback. Jozu is the most popular. Jozu is the most popular. I'm going to rig the votes. I'm going to go back and delete all the votes. Everyone's votes. Jozu rank one. The king. All right. Platinum Wolf 99 asks, would dual units main issue... If the uh, dual units main issue would be fixed, if in future both characters, sorry, would the dual units main issue be fixed if in future both characters had the same attack multiplier, even when they're combined and solely focus on the aspect of switching, switching the uh, mechanic, like providing booster utility. So I think what he's saying is oh. if, if the, if either form of the dual unit had the same boost as the combined form, but then the main focus of dual units would be swapping. Would that fix the dual units? Uh, like, would that yes. fix dual units? That'd make them yes. broken. That'd make them that, really yeah, good. Yeah, that's yeah. broken. Because <laughs> that yeah. made them just stronger. Like, just give them stronger single forms. So, like, make it like 4.5 and like 4.25, and then make it five times as a dual unit. Like, yeah. I don't see why they can't do that if you're throwing out verse units that are five times flat. Well, because like I, th I think like that's actually a really good idea for like for for um in all honesty that's a good idea for six plusing dual units, right? Making oh, their making please. their making their single form as strong as their combined form, but then putting a lot more emphasis on the switch ability because then mm -hmm. it, would, it would follow suit to like okay versus units have the versus special, um 
super types have the super type ability now the main crux of the dual unit is no longer the combined form but it's their swap ability you know so to kind of play into the hand of being like each of these like eccentric style units has like an additional thing that you can add to their kit there you go, Banner. We've we've given you anniversary oh, legends, and we've given you how geez, to fix dual hire units. Hire us already, man. Yeah, hire us. I'm, I'm waiting for the check. Anyway, yeah, we'll send you that's, that's what I'm saying. All right. And Pablo Lorag asks, do you think we'll ever get any uh, anything other in the metal shop? Maybe limited rare recruits, TM rare recruits, support uh, units, or Kizuna rare recruits and items. I'd like them to include tablets and limit break abilities. Thank you guys for your work. Thank you for the question, Pablo. Um, yes. Yes. Yeah, I would when, love that. Limited rare recruits. I would love that. Dude, I think that's a really good idea, actually. Rotating limited rare recruits in the shop, or even ro- with, with TM rare recruits getting a lot better now, rotating uh, TM rare recruits into the shop as well is honestly a really cool idea to have. And obviously, support units is in there too. Like, the oh, items is like, well. the items is like whatever. But rotating those exclu- exclusive style units in the metal shop. I would be picking up all the limited rare recruits I'm missing, all the TM rare recruits I have been missing, like all that. Some of those of stuff. TM rare recruits are so good, especially like the ones coming up as well. Like exactly, I didn't so, like, like rotating into the shop would be so wild good. supports too. Yeah, for sure. Like, I feel like definitely. Would, oh, go go night. I would love for them to do what they did in the past, like with those old characters, like the Quick Zoro and the Sai Luffy. Like make those characters, but like actually like pretty solid like mm. if they did those again that would be pretty cool i think so too i think having like more variety of units available in the kizuna metal oh, sorry not the metal uh, yeah no the the sugo metal shop would be better than adding items i don't know i feel like items like they're gonna they're not gonna justify the amount of metals it's gonna cost for a tablet i feel like there's yeah. just no comparison that they'll be like oh 10 medals for a tablet or some shit and you're like no i'm i'm okay thank you uh, I think, I think having, they having units expanded the shop as well. Yeah. So, like, it, with the whole 10 units on the banner thing, if we have a banner, sort of similar to what Dokken does, still keep your rotation. But, like, if there's 10 units on the banner, excluding the, the new shiny legend, put those characters that are that are boosted or on the banner, put them in the shop as well. Yeah. So, like, say, for example, you've got, like, I don't know, Corazon's on the banner, just chuck him in the shop as well. So people that don't want to summon on this banner can still pick up the legends that they're missing with coins that they have. Yep, I would agree. I, mean, I think just having more ways to acquire older legends is always yep. positive. And the solution is not Horizon. having all legends available. I mean, to be fair, uh, the, current, the current shop exchange is going to come yeah, out. Yeah, we didn't talk really about good. that, actually. The current yeah. shop yeah. exchange is really good. Like Corazon. Corazon, back. Man, it's just Corazon, yeah. bro. Let me quickly, V1, let me, Gizaru. Let me quickly get this one real quick. Um, all right, well, this is going to be a random segment in the YouTube video. It's going to jump from Q&A to this to back to Q&A. But... <laughs> The current metal shop, let me scroll and find it, will be for the 400 coins. V3 Akainu, V3 Lore, V3 Ray, and Mihawk Perona. Lore is really insane. Good. That's yeah. yeah, that's that's nice. I thought they put V3 Kuzan, not Lore. Because we can kind is of predict ridiculous. 400 rotation now. Because it's going off like the structure or the, the timeline of the Sugo Fests. Yeah, right. And it keeps but bumping lore. off the oldest, it keeps bumping off the oldest two units, or oldest Correct, unit at least. Yeah. So right now, yeah. Ray and Mihawk Perona, the oldest unit. So one of them or both of them we bumped off. And then you'll have like the two newer units. So we might actually start seeing like more of the super type legends be be popped into um the into there as well. There. Yeah, they did. So are you, you you're gonna have a kind of stuff. For 250 points, you have V2 Jimbo, you have Garp, and you have Tesoro. Tesoro, in my opinion, is actually kind of worth. Yeah, oh, you seem a lot. Yeah. Tesoro as a, a support for Baccarat. Yeah, mm-hmm. if I'm if I'm playing an Int Garp challenge, the the ten yeah. star one, I'm using Baccarat. <laughs> yeah, and, then, and then you get that chain uh, chain log plus uh, PVP. Tesoro, in my opinion, is a very underrated very unit in PVP with uh, with quick on the come up as well. He will be and very driven. useful there. And, and he's, he's driven exactly yeah. so good unit there. Um, for one, and, uh, 15, I think oh, sorry, I think I think, I think I do think Garp's really good though. Oh yeah, six plus Garp is really good. He's, so he's got a good support. support and a good support too. Jimbo is just chilling; he's doing his thing. So yeah, you can forget him. You can forget him. Yeah, if he's 150, yeah, maybe the 250. It's a lot for Jimbo. But the yeah. 150 tab, free to play Lucy, still free to play unit. You have V1 Magellan. You have Corazon. You have V1 Enel. V1 Doflamingo. Uh, Robin. 
Kizaru, V2 Fuji, I think that is, and uh, V1 Sanji. Corazon. Please. Corazon, love get him. Like, Hurry up. If you, don't, if you don't get Corazon, you eat glue. <laughs> bro, you do bro. Worse. What, what's worse eating glue, bro? You've got, you've got a smooth brain. Your mm-hmm. brain is so smooth. Him. Peanuts. I literally ranked him second on my like limit break expansion tier list, like of characters to do. Because he just gets ridiculous, like stupidly yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. Like he's a very, very powerful unit. Plus, support is just inherently insane. One so. of the best in the game. Yeah. yeah. Blasted. Um, other shout outs, V1 Doflamingo, very good for oh. PvP, fantastic unit there. Akizaru again, fantastic unit there. Everything else is eh, kind of forgettable. Weird. So uh yeah. You can skip those. Fantastic shot. Like a, a lot of like viable purchases. There, yes. Honestly. A I think people ones. are starting to accumulate a lot of coins as well now because there yeah. hasn't been very much situations where you purchase things from the shop. But now we're getting into that situation where, you know, things are becoming all right there. Anyway, mm. back to Q&A. Um, <laughs> all right. From Julio24293325, please remove those numbers from your name. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I love the podcast, but what is a recommended character to Limit Break expand? Oh, geez, timing of that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Vivi Rebecca for me is number one, and then Corazon is number two. Yeah, I, I think would, Vivi Rebecca is a good call. I would say Vivi Rebecca. I would say the, the cop out answer is look at the legends you use the most, yeah. and then That's if they have Limit Break, pop them. For me personally, I think Bullet is a fantastic Limit Break expansion. Dumb yeah. bullet. Bullet's really good. Great option. Because I personally use bullet a lot, especially in like GARP challenges, because he just decimates the, the strength ones. Um, So like definitely for me, bullet in my opinion, Roger, I limit break expanded him recently. Yeah, look Roger, at that. Yeah, Roger and Odin are really good. Really good ones. Odin, break Odin actually for me was way more like useful than Roger was. Because Roger, yeah. like the cooldown's nice, but with Odin in that cooldown, massive. Mm-hmm. Not flame. What do you guys think for Limbrack expanding stuff? For me, it's like anything that gets a solid cooldown reduction. So mm-hmm. a lot of like the older rare recruits, I would probably recommend. Like, um, oh yeah, rare recruits the, too, for sure. What's his oh, name? Yeah. Yozo. He goes crazy with um sailor despair. So now yeah. you have a silence remover who who goes through sailor despair. There's mm. Galette who reduces um. CD. So if you have an enter quick character and you get Sailor Despair, really great for the Hody Garp challenge. Um, Jack when he gets it and Speed also do the same thing. So mm-hmm. really solid units there for sure. Yeah, same with um that quick Okiku when that comes out. Yeah, cool. quick yeah. pudding, quick pudding, quick single. Yeah, of course, quick pudding, legend pudding. Um, <laughs> buggy, yeah, hey, buggy. Yeah. <laughs> buggy oh no stampede buggy kind of brazy stampede, buggy, oh, stampede yeah. buggy yes yeah, yeah. no nah, not the legend <laughs> <gonna say. laughs> yeah no, stampede buggy is one of the best ones you can do for sure yeah. easily and there's easily. a lot of like in all honesty like there's a lot of uh like tm limit break expansions are cheap as hell so like mm-hmm. you can definitely look at oh, limit yeah. break expanding a lot of those and a lot of those characters are really good as well like, like, like treasure map ace is not bad um, ace treasure map v2 mihawk v2 Jack. mihawk Oh, no, no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> nah. I, I, I actually limit broke expanded V1 Katakuri. That's, Dude, that's what I did. He's, he's, he's a lot of like, I'm with he, you. He's a bunch of fun, aspect, yeah. Bro. Like, he's a lot of fun and he has a very good key. Um, I've also done Cracker, but I haven't used him that much to be fair. Cracker was yeah. Cracker's one of those ones everyone's like, Yo, you got Cracker's one of the best yeah. uh, <laughs> sub units in the game, he's the best sailor. <laughs> and then, like, a month later, it's like, Who the fuck is Cracker? You know yeah, so he's using Cracker, man. Yeah, now we've got like V3 Lords. Like, no, yeah, right there. V3 yeah. Lords does everything you want to do, bro. So, um, so Mask. Lords, actually. So Mask, Mask is a requirement, I feel like, in a sense. If you use him as captain, definitely. If yeah. you're going to use him as captain, yeah, you got to do it. But otherwise, yeah. not so much. I think he was my first limit break, key. Yeah, I think so Same. for me too. So, there you go. Nostalgia trip for the boys there. Um, speaking on the boys, at Nitro SR Boy and Doom and at Doom1491 ask pretty similar questions. Uh, what do you guys think they can add to Pirate Rumble to make it more fun? Slash, how would you rebalance Pirate Rumble? Give us more scrolls. That would Straight make it up. way more fun. 100 percent Just give it more give us more scrolls, and you can just test more teams at max at max. Okay. 
here's 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 a hot take um that people aren't, aren't gonna like limit the amount of times you can reset that would make it a lot more like less pay to play so like, exactly yeah, it's gonna Not force people. It's gonna force people's hands into playing against teams simultaneously. It's gonna get you more defense if your team is juicier. Yeah. Like if you limit yeah. the because like you can dead ass sit there for like an hour refreshing until yeah. you win. Like and, yeah, and no, there's no. there's no penalty or don't have a hard limit on it, but make it so after you refresh after X amount of times penalize that person by the amount of tickets or amount of points they can earn from beating those like from being an easier team you know what i'm saying like nine nine Mm. tickets it's like 18 exactly right like just keep dropping an amount of time so every time you refresh you lose a point from uh beating a team or whatever so you go from max 27 and you keep going down until like a cap of let's say 18 points now or whatever Mm. so like have a system so you force that I'd love them to implement like just a uh, free to play versus your friends. Like, just why not, dude? I'm telling friends. you, man, make that ability to verse IDs, and I will yeah. host the most grand pirate rumble tournament of all time. I promise you, I will put money yeah. into this tournament, and I'll make it the most crazy shit you've ever seen. Yeah, um, I'd be so down for that. That'd be crazy. That'd be so cool. And I'll comment, you guys. Give me a voice chat. Bro, bro, imagine that you hear something in the, in the corner like, no shit. <laughs> you see that shit in the background, bro? That'd be me every time. I'm like, bro, pick your team up, you jabroni head ass. <laughs> no, but in all honesty, man, having bro, having having like a an ability to verse your friends would go insane. Plus, like, you got, well. bro, I'm going to kick it to you. I'm going I'm to gas myself up real quick. You all heard me commentating on Todd's stream, that it, Todd's drunk stream on the PvP shit. You want to see me do that. I'm going to kick it to you, man. I'll make that shit go crazy. Make it happen, Bando. We'll, we'll have some good fun there for sure. Definitely. Todd, anything on, on your end, bud? About how to improve Pirate Rumble? Or like how to make it more fun, rebalance it, that kind of stuff? Uh, yeah, I had to quickly dip for a sec there, but I'm sure you guys talked about it, but like being able to play friends. Yep. hundred percent. Um, yeah. so we can host those tournaments, of course. Yep. Uh, and yeah, give us more scrolls, please. Simple. More scrolls, play friends, easy money. Uh, Twitch maniac. He asks, uh, with the meta being around five X captains who can do a hundred mil easily. Do you think interrupts will become stronger? Hope not. I think and trust make the game more annoying. Worse. But, yeah. but I think that with with hitting higher yeah, amounts yeah. of damage a lot easier, I feel like content in itself, like bosses are gonna start to you you're gonna start to see more fifty to like seventy five mil um HP bosses and stuff potentially. Yeah. That may take one to that may take two turns to kill instead of just one turn. So, on um, JP night, what what's sort of the highest HP that you guys have seen besides Kazoon, obviously, like in terms of just like regular content? I think the highest was, but this was like a long time ago. It was like that was a, the Kaido no, actually the Blitz, right? Yeah, like that had a hundred mil, but yeah. I think the that's with boosted units like, and stuff, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's what boosted though. I think highest was like Coliseum Brook who had like forty five mil or something like that. Mm. With Coliseum who? Colson King had 40 mil. Brook. 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 Oh. Well, Arena Brook. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, was gonna say, uh, I don't remember Cybrook having that much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> imagine. imagine oh, that would suck so Man, much. Over. I think, he, I think he reacts to like an attack boost or an orb boost, I think. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. it's an attack boost. It's yeah, I think interrupts are necessary, color. though. Otherwise, you just like bring characters like Sweet Generals that can just do literally everything in one special. So long like, as the, like, it doesn't make so, like, oh, yeah, as long as you bring the new batch, you're good, you know. As long as it doesn't get to yeah, that I, kind of situation, I'd be okay with it. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise, mm-hmm. it's just a pain. I don't know. I think that, I think the answer is not interrupts being better. But I think the answer is making them have more HP or something like that. So then when it comes to team building, there's another factor where it's like, I have to hit. If I want to kill in turn one, I have to do 100 mil. But in the, in the same notion, we have Legend Moria, for example. And this might become more of a thing in the future where you have the 2.5 orb boost. But then in the following turn, you have a color affinity, right? So they mm. might start to do a thing where 
it will take one to two turns potentially to kill or so let's say like two turns to kill a like a, a raid boss but then obviously they'd hit you with like a, a paralysis or something like that in the in that turn so you know like there's a, there's a combination that we have to think about if i'm going to kill in two turns how am i going to do that and and etc there but i think i think interrupts make the game less fun hands down make them way less enjoyable to to, to go about so yeah, yeah, especially probably. when you don't know the content like when you're going into content blind kind of yeah. thing for the first time you're just like oh, all right just put my attack boost oh no you just removed my buffs <laughs> oh i cannot do yeah. that actually so <laughs> what, do I, what do i do now but um no i think i think there's definitely there's room for, there's definitely room for them to play about with with hp i think is the the, the main aspect now they have to start scaling that up a little bit with so, that too the revive mechanic becomes like way more prevalent like yeah. if you've got a character that has 75 million hp and then revives at 50 percent hp like you've got to then verse it again and do another 35 mil like like on average so i feel like that yeah. adds like a whole new stage uh, i found yeah. that with like the the new raid on global the onami raid where like mm-hmm. she came back with 50 percent hp and then you have the two taps like obviously you could cheese it with v1 mihawk but like it's still you have to bring that's a that's a slot on your team devoted to v1 imagine Mayork, if they know. did that and then like on oh, revive gives you normal attacks only they did do that nami and shinobu did do that if you go to the third turn yeah they gave you normal attacks, attacks only 99 <laughs> okay. turns and all attacks only as well so you're, you're, you're yeah. literally dead i was running double kaido i messed up yeah. one run i didn't stall an extra turn or whatever and um see you later buddy <laughs> you're just gone ski <laughs> at that point man but yikes I don't know. I think there's there's definitely a lot they can do with this game and stuff, but I don't think interrupts is the way to go. I don't think no. so. Um, Ian Octavio ATR Stump, how do you oh. have that much energy in your videos? <laughs> That's just me, man. Honestly, it, like it, inject it, it drives... coffee straight into your veins. <laughs> man's with that red, man's with that Red Bull thing, man. Well, actually, funny enough, I was just I was recently in hospital for a kidney stone, so I can't even touch that energy. Right. <laughs> Oh, oh, not, it's not my first i'm not going to get into that but like okay yeah okay. like i have i have my one coffee a day but that's just me to be honest like it, it either drives do. drives people up the wall like bonkers batshit crazy <laughs> or they or people love it there's no in between so i think it's good man you, you need you need people like that in your life bro I, I, my friend's nightmare jp bro that guy doesn't talk man <laughs> yeah, i'm depressed <laughs> Man, bro, you're oh, not. Are you good, man? Bro, someone call, <laughs> someone call Knight, man. He's crying, dude. Someone call Knight. He's crying, bro. <laughs> All right. Um, Bonacci or three. He asks, "What do you guys think about dual unit body parts? Do you think we might see signs in a foot dual unit or Robin and multiple hands?" I'm trying to see Nami and some big titties. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was, I was robbing the planner feet on my it. face. Oh. Yo, whoa, uh, hey, what did you just say? <laughs> what did you just say, Chief? You wanna you wanna repeat yourself for the rest of the class? Oh yeah, hey. sure. I want Robin to point those giant <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. god. <laughs> no Wait, how come there's no doing of me and my schlong? Oh, <laughs> oh, hey yo. <laughs> I apologize. Like you, I apologize, audience. No, you I don't. don't. No, you don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Big dick energy, bro. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> well, but that was, we just ruined yeah. that question. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was okay. actually like, I'm a serious answer for that. I was talking about this with a mate the other day. Like, we were actually trying to think of other characters that you could do that yeah. with. And there are characters you can do it with, but they're just like better ways. Like, you could do try like Chopper, for example, like change between points. Or like Luffy change between Snake Man and Tank Man. That or, would be cool, uh, actually. Yeah. Hey, they they did they they did try the that. Terms, they've done that better with like the meat or mechanic. Just give me a Rumble Scroll chopper, please. Like a not a Rumble Scroll, a Rumble Point chopper, please. You know, give me a chopper yeah. that dupes Rumble Scrolls. Actually, give me that too. Oh, Fuck shit. It. Dang, give, me, give me that too, bro. Maybe he's that one buggy. Oh, that, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good shout. That's a good shout. Yeah, true. I mean, we just redeemed the question, guys. Good on us. Yeah. We're, it's like we're actually <laughs> professional at this. <laughs> professional? What's that? But, hey, bro, I hosted my seminar the other day. That shit went fucking so crazy. I had people coming up to me at the very end. They're like, hey, what the hell? Big, big congrats on that too, bro. Hey, man. I, I'm, I'm still a jabroni. I'm sitting there. I'm like, yeah, so 
he's like the wiki uh definition of what one piece treasure cruise is oh, no. and then he's <laughs> the wiki he's the wiki definition of what a gacha game is and everyone's like what the fuck is it like, and then you, and you play, a clip, of the, you play a, clip, a clip of the podcast and it's like night saying get the gums out yeah no i i played a clip i played a clip of episode 39 and within the first a little after i do the because i was like i was like saying oh a good a good idea for your podcast on youtube is you want to push the subscriptions. So have a little short thing at the start of the video to say, hey, subscribe, and then get on get on with it. Within yeah. the first like, 10 seconds of the um the, the episode 39, one of us just says, fuck, straight oh, no. away. <laughs> and I totally oh. didn't catch that. So I'm playing this video, and then so one of us just says, oh, fuck this. And I'm like, yo! I'm gonna, <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I, had to, Dang, I had to move on. I was like, anyway, he said you upload a video, and blah, blah, blah. And everyone's like, like what's up? You know, what the fuck is going on, bro? But uh, alas, <laughs> um, no, right. on there, that's what I'm saying, bro. Uh, Yeet the Bot he is on YouTube, by the way. Make sure you go to the YouTube community tab for this kind of good stuff. Yeet the Bot asks, picture this. There's no new content to grind right now, but you have the urge to play Treasure Cruise and urge to do something fun. What is, what is that thing for you? I like to use some legends I don't often use and battle random clashes with them. Uh, my oh, definition of fun is to not play the game. So um, <laughs> when there's nothing to do, um, my phone is off. <laughs> on a quick little side note, I mean, I don't know, maybe I wasn't paying attention, but did we uh, skip that one question? Which from one? Brendan? No, we, we just did it. Oh, we did. No, we did skip it. Yeah. Did I skip it? All right, no, we'll come we'll, back we'll to go, it. We'll, we'll come we'll back, go to back to it. it. Don't worry. Anyway, yeah, keep going. Yeah. Thanks, Wayne. Shout out Flame, man. He's asleep. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Got that third eye flow. <laughs> I think golf shut up. <laughs> I think golf challenges can be pretty fun when you like run different units and like try and do different ways to beat that. I think they're sort of like a pinnacle of sort of depicting how good a unit is as well without using like your same teams over and over again. Mm-hmm. I feel that. Yeah, I would say that. Golf what do you guys? What do you guys do for fun in Treasure Cruise though? When there's nothing to do, or play TM. Play TM. Maybe TM. just spam some Pirate Rumble. Maybe. Yeah. I'll just. Nah, I'm farm. not gonna lie. I'm like with Poppy. I just, I just don't play it. Bro, it, it, bro, <laughs> bro, if there's nothing to do, bro. My phone is off. I log in three rumble matches. See you later, buddy. Like that's it, bro. I ain't doing yeah. nothing more, man. But I mean, that's just me, though. You know what I'm saying? No, you log into Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Because <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, there's something. Because there's something to do in that game, right? Surely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I listen to the Treasure Cruise music. In Yo, my Yo, let's go. Let's go. Bump that <laughs> shit in the in the ride down the street. At work, at work, sometimes I'll be just like, I'll be like serving someone on the register and I'll just start saying, and I'm really like, bump, I'm really like, bomb my head to it and I'm like, I'm fucked up. My yeah, brain I play, is. I play with music off, so like. Oh, I've never, bro, I've never, I have never played with sound or music once in this game. Yeah, I, I can hear a you. demon. I'm trying to think of it. <laughs> Bro, as if you want to listen to that Luffy Sanji switch ability, like, come on. Oh, yeah. hey, Sanji! Oh, come on, man. Nah. <laughs> the only time I ever get an injection no. of music is when I watch, like, pod stream, and I'm like, oh, so that's what this game sounds like. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> that's what in-game music is. I'm like, oh, you, the tapping has sound effects. I didn't, I just hit perfects blind, baby. Like, let's Ooh. go. Weird flex, man. I don't hit perfects, man. I don't. I'm good. Great. Good. Great. Yeah, I hit perfects after I hit my good and great first. That's what I'm hey. saying, bro. Shout out to those guys. Um. All right. From Brandon Ben, he asks, "Who is everybody's favorite legend in the game and why?" I know why Flame came back to this because three, yeah. two, yes, one, sir. pudding. He wants, he wants to plug pudding. Yes, sir. Like, hey, of course, he wants to plug pudding. Hello. Oh, yo. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> We're going off the rails now. Let's go. I would hold that against you, Flame. <laughs> anyway, Flame, go off, King. Go off, King. Yeah, I mean, you know, usual uh, pudding, man v2 pudding. <laughs> man said v2 pudding. Fuck, son. <laughs> 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 uh, um, Rest of the boys? Mine's a toss up between Roger or V3 Law. Yo, okay. One of Law's kind of brazy. One of Law is fucking a doozy. Mm. I thought you were going to stick Katakuri. Fuck yeah, Katakuri. Katakuri's cool, but I mean, he's like, you the same pog. I'm going to kick it to you, mm. bro. 
V1 category is the most fun unit out of all of his all of his units. I love V1 yeah. category. I'm having a lot of fun with uh, Halloween lore lately. A lot yeah. of fun with Halloween yes. lore. But um, Shanks crew is always my my number one. Yep. Nice. For me, it's definitely Shanks crew or Bullet. I'm a sort of Bullet stand. Bullet. Yeah, Bullet's Bro, cool. every time they release a new legend, Bullet just gets better. <laughs> I'm True. kicking it to you, man. Bullet yeah, is wrong. so good. Driven Powerhouse coming out. Bullet's mm. like, what's up? Oh, wait. Hang on. I'm just thinking about this now. You can stack Bullet and Kaido's special. Yes, yeah, you back. can. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually kind of disgusting. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. Bullet is so good, dude. You get Bullet. that extra end of turn. You can do the same thing with, not not to uh, like add big degree, but you can do the same thing with the um, Kazuna Kid. Like yep. four times, like four yeah, times. True. You just yep. get that extra as well. Yep, um, it's really cool. Plus, the versatility can't be removed. Like, yep. oh, dude. I'm like, telling what? you, bro. Bullet is brazy. Man. Knight, what about you? I don't know, man. It's kind of a toss-up. I'm going to pick the one that everyone's like, oh, you like that guy? I like Versus of Kindy a lot. But I also like Halloween Law, just because I'm a Law fanboy. But I do like his abilities in general. He's really brazy. Yeah, yeah I've been having heaps of fun with Halloween Law, man. I'm I think it's, I think it's real. The lore I pulled was six star as well. So fuck that mechanic in this goddamn well, game. Not, you, but... Well, not you really picked a Kano. Jeez. Yeah, wow, really? wow, yeah, no, wow, wow, Knight. Of course, the new, the newest legend <laughs> in the game, Knight. Of course, you're gonna pick them. What the <laughs> hell, <laughs> man? When is Bandai gonna make a bad Kano? Like a Kano always just yeah, blows on release, always, always broken. Yeah. Yeah, but at the same time, like when V2 Kano came out, I was like. Nah, he's not that great. And then when um, Verse Akainu came out, I was like, oh, Ace seems better. And then, like, you see their gameplay and you're like, whoa, what the hell? Bro, yeah. v- 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 so v- V2 Akainu is still hard. Like, it's still so good. Like, oh, I've, like before having, sure. yeah, yeah, before having yep. Law, like, now I have Law, now Ink Garb Challenge the Peanuts, right? But, yep. like, <laughs> but before <laughs> having Law, I would use Akainu, like, V2 Akainu to clear shit. And B Bro made all these teams with V2 Akainu, and he is so goddamn good. Like, it's actually mm-hmm. insane how good V2 Akainu still is. Because, like, that end of turn, like, damage, brazy. Like, like you, can get yeah, so, yeah. you can get so far with that, too. So, kind of kind of hard, bro. Bro, imagine, imagine when he gets a 6+. Plus. Yeah. <laughs> he's already, he's already yeah. got expanded captain effect, so plus a 6+, plus on top of that. He'll be really good. Yep. He'll, be, he'll be very strong. So, shout out to that. Um, all right. From Rumble Skarsh. You know what? I'm going to give a special shout out to this guy. Skarash, Skrash, whatever you want to call it, right? This kid on the come up with the PV, with the PVP content for One Piece Strategy Cruise though. So I see you, bro. I'm a scout, man. I'm, I'm a scout. I'm always looking out for the next, the next big kid on the block for the Treasure Cruise I've been, scene. So uh, I've been recently chatting with Rumble Scratch. He's a he's a he's a top notch guy. He's a good there's a good content for PvP though, so I appreciate it, man. He says, Hey there, what are your thoughts on JP releasing OP legends one after the other? PvP wise, they have released a lot of really good legends. And as someone who's really interested in PvP, that's a problem to gem manage. Amazing podcast, uh, by the way. I've been listening to it for a long time. Appreciate the kind words, sir. What are you guys' thoughts there? Man, I, mean, I feel like Oh, you can go, Tom. No, yeah, go, 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 go. I don't know. I feel like every year there's always going to be a period where there's like a whole bunch of OP legends dropping back to back. Yep. So that's like my thing on it. Like, I don't think it changes anything. If you want to pull for like the OP legends, you could just wait till Annie, I would say, or <laughs> afterward. Yep. I'd but agree. That's just me. I'd agree with that too, Knight. 100%. Yeah, I think like yeah, like they, they are releasing a lot of good legends back to back. They're like really good for Pyro, but you don't have to pull for them. No, like, I so. think like it's it's always gonna be one of the situations where these really good legends come out, but it's situational as to if you're gonna use them or not. If you're running an int team at the moment, like and you're you're still hard stuck on int teams, okay, maybe Moria and Blackbeard are a lot more appealing. If you're if you're now delving into the quick meta, the quick teams. Oh, Magellan versus Kainu are way more appealing for the PvP side of there. So I think it kind of d- depends on what you want to do in terms of like what PvP stuff you want to run and such. But um, I think that that comes with the situation where we've mentioned it prior that PvP doesn't offer a lot of rumble scrolls and things too. So like mm-hmm. you have to be very picky, at least for the time being, in terms of what you're running, what you want to invest in, and that will kind of determine where you spend those gems and what units you try to pull for. Yes. 
And that's the benefit of anything being on global too. Like we obviously know what's coming and like with Enel, right? Like when Enel first dropped, everyone's like, oh, Slashy Man is finally dead. But like that lasted, what, two weeks? Yeah. And then it kind of came out and then it's like, okay, now we're in a quick meta. So for global players, it's very easy to go, well, okay, screw screw Enel. Like I'm not, I'm not summoned for Enel. I'll summon for Kaido, who on release on JP was very like, not underwhelming, but like everyone was looking at Zoro, right? And now people that didn't summon who have a Kainu, Miguel, and are like, damn, where, where my Kaido at? Like, exactly. I need this Kaido. So there's also that playing on global. For sure. I, yeah, that, I'm just thinking about that now. Like when Atsugo eventually drops on global with Kaido and Zoro, I never, I don't know which one I want more. Because like um, I want, oh, I kind of want Kaido. Zoro because like Dex kind of fucking sucks and Zoro kind of yeah. helps a bit. But at the same I mean, time, Kaido's kind of nice. I mean, if you've got Kid though, you can just hybrid kid and uh, yeah. sort of very easily but hybrid captains obviously yeah uh, hybrid but, um, I, hybrid i sleep and plus it's always got a sick special animation it's kind of pog yeah but you're gonna yeah, bro just, no, no 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 you're gonna watch that shit once you're gonna skip it every other fucking time oh bro. yeah i'm gonna skip it that's what i'm post. saying yeah. bro yeah special, but so it's a nice it's a nice touch special animations in treasure cruise literally mean fuck all like, in all honesty, <laughs> you watch it once, you're like, yo, Roger's special animation kind of pog. And then after that, I'm tapping the screen as fast as humanly possible to get through that shit, yeah. you know? It's interrupt. Oh, he's interrupt. Oh, bro, I'm- get out of here. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> well, that's about it there. I don't know. Like, I think, I think it's very hard because you can't... Because I think at the moment, still PvE at least for the time being and probably for the foreseeable future, PVE is always going to be the main crux of of content on Treasure Cruise. So, like, obviously then, if you're, if, especially with you, Rumble, at the moment, like, you're a PvP-centric kind of guy, so your Legend selection should be way more focused on PvP as opposed to, um, so yeah, as opposed to PvE stuff. So it's always mm-hmm. going to be a kind of toss-up there. Mm-hmm. All right. Moving cool. on. Psycho Alfie. He asks, if we have more dual du- units similar to Blackbeard concepts, what are each of your favorite characters you use and what concept for their abilities? I think we just went over that kind of. I cool. got an idea. Here we go. All right. Katakuri, Me and my imagine, big schlong. Anyway. Imagine Katakuri, right? But <laughs> yeah. one version of Katakuri is a brawler and the other one you switch, he uses his uh, spear. Totally been. The jelly bean. Or, or you could oh. use jelly beans. That's true. You could switch yeah. to a jelly bean version. But either way, and then every time you switch, it gives tap timing bonus. Oh, to get to the whole team. Ooh. So instead, of, like Shanks for giving you an attack boost, like this one can give you like tap timing bonus to the whole team. Ooh, I see you. Like, that would be kind of nice. I see you. That's like a that's like a buff that you just sort of never bring on the team. Like it's just yeah, like a last sort of resort for extra damage. But just to have that in a switch ability, just real nice. Hmm. I think that's, yeah. a, that's a good idea, sir. That'd be kind of nice. I'd summon for that. That'd be kind of... I mean, of course you would. I'd curry, bro. Would you not summon for that? You'd have yeah, to. exactly. <laughs> My man. Anything else from the from the crew? On that one there? Well, I would just more like more uh, crew legends, to be honest. Yeah. In that sort of... Like, Good idea. Yeah. Like Blackbeard and crew, Whitebeard and crew, like Roger and crew. Like, it just... It opens the door with so many like different options. And they haven't touched on it since Shanks crew. Yeah. Like, and Shanks crew, when Shanks crew came out, like... I think um, Arlen Crew is a little bit slept on. No, near it on Shanks Crew's level, but like the concept of having that switch ability and sort of being still centric around the same sort of idea. Yeah. It's just there's so much they can tap into. So mm-hmm. much. No, I'd agree. I'd agree. I think, yeah. I think they don't need to necessarily always go down the same kind of line of being like, oh, Blackbeard has like the two devil fruits. So you have the two forms. Big Mom mm-hmm. has like the two the two cloud jabronis so you can like you know you sit there you have the two <laughs> forms there or whatever right but they could definitely i think definitely crew units are always gonna be pog in the sense that people are always gonna be hella excited to to go for a yeah, crew you've, always, you've always got like your your, your law like your law diehards that like just love the heart pirates so like having yeah, a, a law crew legend you're gonna have that i want this legend Dude, same that'd with, be like, sick the black as legend. fuck bro a law crew legend you have beppo chilling bro that'd be so yeah, tight Penguin, dude. like bro it'd be wild I reckon that's what uh, the, down, the downside to that as well is your sub selection because, like, obviously, like Shanks, you can't really bring Ben Beckman, you can't yep. bring Yasop, which does hinder mm-hmm. them a lot as well. Yeah, yeah that's mean, a big I, problem. But it's a good, it's, I think it's fair though. Like, it's a fair, oh, yeah, definitely kind of yeah. compromise, right? You know, like, you, you, it, it's because, like, and at the same time, like, who's running Beppo, who's running Penguin, and like, who's running this? Hey, man, I run Starchy, man. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I my drink. Oh my god. <laughs> Man says he's running Sachi. Okay. I, I'm, I'm waiting wow. for the. I'm waiting for the video night. Wait, All right, wait. watch. Sachi let's showcase. go, dude. Sachi <laughs> yeah, showcase. Oh. Let's go. Oh. All right. J line uh, J O two three one line and Fabio one asked pretty similar questions. How long do you guys play OPTC each day roughly? And what are your favorite manga and game characters? Janks. Janks favorite character? Pog, how long um, do you play OPTC? When con when new content comes out, I probably play for like an hour or two. When it's just like today, I just play PvP and get off. <laughs> yep. All day, yeah, every day, twenty four seven. Todd actually, that's why, that's why the king, man. Todd's, yeah. Todd's actually like you know like Todd's cable always comes out when he streams. It's yep. good, like that yeah. shit's plugged into him, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when Todd moves around, like you know like Todd gets up when he like gets mad at a pool and his his Elgato unplugs. That's just because he gets up. He moves around too much, bro. Todd's actually <laughs> physically plugged into the game at all times. IV drip, no. Todd gets the fucking treasure cruise drip at all times, bro. He's, he yeah, he's fueled playing. by the cruise. Oh, he's, he's fueled by the cruise, bro. <laughs> well, I'm like, Taste I'm like, the what cruise. Are the <laughs> what, have I, what have I done? Uh, uh, Katakuri. Like, Katakuri. Uh, for me, right now, Marco. Marco Ooh, is fucking yes, sick. Bro. I love Marco. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then I, I'm the same boat as Flame. I'll play when I need to play, and then otherwise I'm not touching the game. Unless like there's situations where I want to farm XP or I want to farm like skill books or whatever, then I'll kind of do that kind of stuff just on the side. But that's like auto or whatever it is. It's not like active play time. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Cool. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Viker. Uh, what do you guys think about the fact that New Legends kind of look the same nowadays? It's typically a 5x conditional captain for one color, super flat or super type, flat 4x for all colors. I'm afraid that some Legends might lo lose their uniqueness. Oh, mm. I was talking about this with a mate. Um, he hates the idea that like super type Legends have the four times to all other colors. He just uh... thinks that it takes away from like the again the uniqueness of the unit because like with luffy for example you're like he's a rainbow captain but he's centric around strength but you could you can build a team that has nothing to do with strength yeah. and still run it very 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 well um so i don't know but i feel like if it didn't have that like the units would be nowhere near as good as they are yeah I totally agree you need I mean, I, you need the rainbow thing you do you do need it too like that's what i keep saying as well like you need that to make them viable to beat some hard content because Int might be the best color in the game, hypothetically, but the content that's required, if you don't have a unit that can get around it, like you're just never going to use that unit. Mm. Yeah, like I was talking with some friends in Flame the other day, and like Anel, he's a 5x Psy captain, but he only boosts Psy. And mm -hmm. like nowadays, that's kind of dog shit. Like, makes you, it way worse. You right? have to bring other stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Bring Roger, like, exactly. Like or Boa that. or something. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you can make them rainbow captains and make their special centric to a type, like Kid, for example. But like, deck sucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, like sweet commanders, right? Like they only boost strength yep. with their special, but their captain ability does work with a lot of the colors. Like that is one way, I guess, if if that is a big problem. But I just, I, mean, I don't think it's a big issue. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I yeah, I don't great. think it's a problem. I think it's like the thing um, is benefits it though. I think it's a, it's a benefit because it just I think versatility in this game is what keeps people coming back. I mean, like, I think like I don't know if it's going to be in the pre-show or whatever, but um, like we talked about Subconsi a bit, and like you know the fact that you're able, like you know, just shout out to him. Obviously, team building prowess is is insane, right? But I think like that's one of the the biggest draws to Treasure Cruise is the ability to build teams, not just like the same structure, but you can have the way to like make unique teams and and build so that and i think the only having the rainbow um boost only benefits you in that sense opposed to hindering that the uniqueness quote unquote yeah and it sort of takes away from a lot of other like like content as well like mm. if you don't have that rainbow tag like trying to do forests and stuff with that particular unit is just like impossible because you have car characters that can do literally carry other characters yeah provided they have that rainbow tag like I, I used know. Halloween Shanks to take down the um, Kid Forest, but like it was only doable because I brought Luffy Sanji's friend. So yeah. without without having <laughs> that, 
he's just like basically useless in like you're not really running in for that type of content anyway but he's basically useless for that particular piece of content which sucks in my opinion yeah i, I feel that. for me like um unique legends most of the time like eventually fall off and then like yep. in later years you you'll like never see them like v1 sanji really cool ability with the jump effect mm-hmm. but hasn't seen play and god knows how long yeah. frankie had a really cool effect but he's horrible fuck frankie um <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I knew <laughs> Sugar, on the other hand, I feel like she'll see a lot of play, but eventually, as we see now, like there's just like better quick super types like Magellan and Kaido and like Garb challenges and whatnot. You're going to want to bring them over. Yeah. At least, just at least of... the difference between Sugar and like Frankie and Sanji is that she can be used as a sub still. Sub. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah. even even mm-hmm. then, right? Like, I think Sugar is is in a situation where she's extremely situational. Yes. I like agree. extreme like if you have a free slot on your team like and like and it's very rare to just have like a, it, an empty depends, slot right? right because remember the, the the toy soldiers can bypass like bind and paralysis so yeah. instead of bringing a utility you could just bring sugar instead depending yeah. well, on your the, team the tap yeah. the yeah. tap timing thing where you can only that's do two right, taps yeah. that's the biggest one for me yeah true. Like, I, I used her against the onami and uh, shinobu just yeah. to get through the taps because like yeah, yeah. This, like fuck you man like i don't care you're gonna make me tap twice like <laughs> dead <laughs> no i think that's i think that's a, that's a fantastic point that knights brought up like unique legends although they're really cool they drop off hella fast i think like mm. you want those soul like that's why like you know again like super type snake man is still like still in, in the conversation with like the best legends of the game he's boring as shit mm. but he's just very powerful you know, and it's consistency that, you know, is the is the draw to a lot of, at least in my opinion, the ability to consistently clear high levels of content and then also being fun as well is what's like the draw for me to, to go deep for a legend, for example. Yeah, especially free-to-play players too, you know, like if you've been saving those exactly. gems, like you want a character that is going to carry you through like the yep. next sort of three months of content and unique legends they just they can't do it like well i mean like they, yeah exactly i look at like the situation now where it's like you had roger come out free to play players would put on that if they had skipped anniversary now at the moment like i can justify it in a sense now going deep for kaido big mum although it feels horrible you know for a fact that having kaido big mum at the end of the day is super beneficial for you because, they can still clear everything because up until what yeah, exactly, up to, right? Exactly, right? Like, I mean, kind of big mom is still in the talk for best legend on JP as well. I mean, Ace of Kainu uh, pulls up and says, what's up? But like, mm. but I think kind of big is still like a top three legend on, on JP, I would, I would definitely argue. But oh, easily. But like, you need that situation where mm-hmm. you have, you have, you have those milestones and you know, like this legend, although it may not be fun or it may not be quote unquote unique is probably the better way to put it. The consistency in their ability to clear content at a very high, quick rate is uh, is obviously going to be the biggest draw to them. So, yeah, and if you're not clearing exactly. content, you're not having fun. Like, exactly. Let's be real. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I mean, like that just goes to show back to that earlier, way earlier conversation about like the comment section and people saying I need replacement stuff like that. Like people struggling with that kind of content and stuff. Obviously, if you continue to struggle with content, you're not going to enjoy the game. You're going to put the game down. You're not going to want to play the game itself, right? So, yep. you know, having that consistent captain or consistent legend on a crew, you know, to, to, to help you bypass and get through a lot of content is always going to be a more, a more beneficial factor in the overall scheme of things than having a unique legend itself. Again, uh, look at like uh, dual unit Blackbeard versus Moria. Blackbeard seems a lot more unique, but Moria, although what may be considered a lot more boring, is going to have a lot more play, I feel like, in the future because of, a consistently high captain rate, good clasp that it, uh, that he boosts, special that's going to last a long time. Like, you know, you have to factor in your comparison of legends in that sense too. Yep. Right. And on that note as well, like what you were saying earlier about um, consistency and speed, like Brooke is a really unique legend, but what you have to do like nowadays, especially to like make him like viable, quote unquote, you have to have Germa, yeah, or you have to use Frank Captain Hawkins or Boa. Like it takes like a lot more to make those unique legends viable mm-hmm. than it does to Correct. use the like legend that just came out like yesterday or whatever. So mm. 
that's another issue with them. And it, obviously, again, you, like the argument always stems like whatever you find enjoyment in the game. If you find right. enjoyment from playing with the unique legends, then obviously it sucks that Bandai doesn't really. No, okay, that's the wrong way to put it. But Bandai recently, at least, hasn't been producing a lot of those quote unquote unique legends. But at the same time, like Ace Akainu is a unique legend. You can say that as well. First of all, being a versus mm -hmm. legend, there's only two of them in the game. Yeah, Second cool. of all, uh, a conditional boost for burn is that's a so unique cool. mechanic in the game as well. And it, it also helps that, that they're like incredibly powerful. So like, and it's you know, a -esque, like <laughs> exactly two, like, right. Very loved characters or hated characters in the game. Yeah. Or in the, I sorry. And so I think like, I, I guess it kind of comes down to like where you get your enjoyment out of it. And if you get your enjoyment out of it being unique legends only, then it's unfortunate, but you kind of have to either wait for those legends to come out or just put up with what you have now. And, and, and like Knight said, have to build those really awkward hybrid style teams where you have your fun, unique legend, but you have to it's bring an OP, <laughs> you have to bring an OP friend captain to help you get through that kind of content. So well, you're literally running like op legends as subs like yeah exactly running, like right. roger as a sub and it's like well why would you run like you know yeah exactly um i ma ask kaido versus big mom ace versus kainu which versus character is better ace versus kainu ace versus kainu just a kainu like <laughs> a kainu himself yeah. is I think in the long yeah, run, Ace versus Kainu. One. <laughs> Ace, Ace versus Kainu is better in the long run, but uh, if you want to speed farm content, Kaido is better. Yep, I agree. Yeah, yeah no, I, I think this, this is still the relevant point. Like, if if you could get that Kaido effect off, he's still like best character in the game. <laughs> he yeah. just like yeah, destroys everything. That um, that AOE end turn damage is a lot. It's, like, it's too much. <laughs> yeah, it's like one point five just. Health cut, health cut, wave clear, and then single target, huge hit. Like, bro. Yeah, yeah that 3x blast. <laughs> Put bullet on so the end good. of that as well. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's insane. And he boosts a lot of types too, right? Strength decks in. They're all, besides many decks, like, they're all very good colors. But at the same time, decks opens the door for stuff like Corazon. Um, yeah, there's, there's uh, certain dex units you could, you know, inject in there, which is nice. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Oh, there you That's go. Nice. Um, I actually skipped a question again as well. Yeah, Bryce. Um, Bryce, he asked a bit late, but what were your thoughts on the One Piece World poll results? Anyone in particular you were upset or happy about their rankings? Personally, I'm sad Katakuri didn't make top 10. All right, let's play a game. I have the top 10 up right now okay. on my screen. I'm going to get you guys to guess the top 10, starting from first going to 10th. So this is the overall ranking as well, not by like content. I think the top three, I'm going to guess Luffy, Zoro, Sanji. You are 100% correct. Okay. Yeah, was it V2 Kaido up there? Wait, V2 Kaido. <laughs> oh, we're talking about One Piece, One Piece, not, not OPTC. All right. Oh, are we? I thought we were talking about the, um, the sorry, the Create Your Insuga Fest. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We're talking about the world ranking thing that, like, that everyone voted every day. This is the midterm overall ranking results at the moment for, like, favorite characters in One Piece as a genre. All oh, right. So, so uh, Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, one, two, three. Who's fourth? Law. Mm. Knight is correct. Law. I would say mm, okay. Fifth? Yes, sir. Uh, I, I, I reckon Robin's in the top 10. She is, but not fifth. Maybe okay. Nami. Nami is top 10, but not fifth. Shit. That is six Pardon? and seven, though. That's six and seven. So then you got those okay. two. Right? <laughs> oh, who is have, like Whitebeard or Shanks up there, surely. Shanks is in there as number 10. So Dude, still, we, got, we got three other units. You're, you're three missing, other characters. <laughs> what the heck? You're missing um, five, eight, and nine. Chopper. No. Yeah, <laughs> Chopper is Chopper is fifth. Chopper is fifteenth. Odin? Odin is not up there. Odin is twenty second. Uso? No. Fourteen. Roger. Roger, no. Also not up there. Wow. Okay. You're Who's missing five, eight, and nine. Boa? Ninth. Bor is ninth. Sabo? Sabo is eighth. Fifth. Okiku. <laughs> Who the hell's number five? Ace? You, 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 yeah, yeah, Ace. Ace. You oh, missed such a critical God. character. Ace. Why do so people... Oh, okay, don't worry. So, Luffy, yeah, Zoro... Like Luffy, Luffy, Zoro... <laughs> yeah, Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, Law, 
Ace, Robin, Nami, Sabo, Hancock, and Shanks as the top 10 overall for the midterm ranking. Wow. How the hell did we guess in the entire, like, 6 through 10 before 5? <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, saying, dog, you are saying, you are Shanks. I'm like, dog, Ace, right? Everyone loves Ace for some reason. Why do you think there's so many goddamn units in this game, bro? Yeah. Sabo up there, too. <laughs> like, come on, cuz. Um, other notable mentions, Yamato, 11th. Corazon, wow. uh, Katakuri, 12th. Corazon, Damn. 13th. Usopp, 14th. Chopper, 15. Crocodile in 16th. Damn. Carrot 17, oh. Marco 18, 19th is Jimbe, and uh, 20th is Mr. Two. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Mr. Two? 21st, yes, is, 21st is Vivi. 22nd is Odin. Yes, sir. 23rd is Brooke. 24th is Perona. 25th is Doflamingo. Who's Mihawk? 28th. What? Bro. <laughs> Bro. No. There's a character called Whoop Slap 27. Yeah. Oh, nah, He's whoop the mayor. Slap. Yes, sir. That's what oh, I'm whoop saying. Slap whoop is, Slap 27. Yeah, yeah, Estes Kid 26. Is, White Beard is 29th. Frankie is 30th. Okay. Ew. There was a, there was a big um push like in random times during the voting where like they just randomly vote for one character just out of the blue. Like yeah. I know um, Gaimon won some of the votes on some of the days. There was um there's a YouTuber, uh, the Grand Line Review. He was pushing. Yeah. He was. He was pushing. Whoop slap for for the meme. All right. Well, then I'll go into our variants of of uh. So Oceania. So for us jabronis in Australia, uh, rank one was Zoro. Uh, Robin was second. Luffy wow. third. Yes. Law was fourth. Sanji fifth. Whoop slap sixth. Seventh was seventh. <laughs> seventh was Sabo. Eighth was Yamato. Ninth was Shanks. Tenth was Ace. My boy Shanks making it. Then for That's North cool. America, it was Luffy first, Zoro second, Sanji third, Robin fourth, Law fifth, Yamato sixth, Whoop Slap seventh, Usopp yes, eighth, <laughs> Kanaguri ninth, Nami tenth. Okay. Slap. Let's go. go in, Whoop Slap unit win. Hey, Whoop Slap yeah, legend win. In, ja- in Japan, it's pretty standard, but Coraz- uh, so yeah, Corazon is seventh. Nice. Okay. Mm. And Latin. Latin, um, Latin America and the Caribbean. Interesting factors. Carrot is fifth. Usopp ninth. Yamato eighth. In Europa, okay. uh, Usopp and Yamato make it into top ten. In the Middle East, Katakuri is fourth, and then oh, Laura is eighth. So, oh. and then in Africa, you have Katakuri eighth, Yamato sixth, Usopp tenth. So, uh, and then Asia, sorry, as well, you have pretty much standard except category in the 10th spot. Very nice. Pretty, pretty standard nice. there. There you go. Beautiful. Um, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough, mate. Yeah, <laughs> dog. Um, from Vince, Vince M. Zamora asks, in your opinion, what is the most useless piece of enhancement material? I think the map damage resistance tomes are pretty awful. Pretty much nailed it. DR sockets. <laughs> dog <laughs> you put resilience there probably too resilience or damage reduction or da- with damage resistance tomes map damage resistance tomes sorry yeah. Yeah. I'm, not trying, I'm not trying to follow the, um, night absolutely not the cotton candy removal yeah that's actually. pretty useless now <laughs> yeah that's I don't like the um the limit break damage reduction sockets ooh Oh, yeah. the potential ability. Oh, yeah. I'd agree with that, too. I mean, they're, but they're, they're only useful, though, because it rainbows the character. You know what I the mean? O- the only good thing about them is that <laughs> Rumble units have them, so you can rainbow them easier. Yeah, that, too. Yeah. 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 Yep, unless it's PvP wipe is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. And then the final question for today, the Phoenix 07 asks, what are your thoughts on these two topics? Having supports for friend captains... So that's the first one. We'll go to that. We'll start with that. Having supports for friend captains. What do that's you guys broken, think about yes. that? Broken. That's broken as yeah. fuck. I think that's too tricky to be honest as well. Like, how would they even implement that? They can't like, even make so, like they can't even make friend captains work in the first place. Let alone having supports <laughs> yeah. for friend captains. You know. Um, so um, be, yeah, you'd have to like select your friend captain and then apply the support. Like, well, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. 
Or maybe so, like maybe like you just have a support that just worked for friend captains, or like and it would always be used as like the friend captain support. Oh, so uh, that's would, like the tag can only be attached to friend captains. Yeah, or something like that, right? Oh, that'd be weird. That would be really weird. Cool concept though, actually. Now that you yeah. mention that. Um, and then the second part there, a way to exactly tell the power of your boost. For example, Sober Mask gets the plus sign when it's a two point five times attack boost, but characters like Roger, Luffy, Zoro don't have a way to tell. Uh, Thanks for the content. Your synergy together is great. Makes for an amazing well, you, podcast. Thank you very much. Before you launch the special, you have to tap and hold and view what it says. Yeah, you can do yeah. that. I do think that it would be nice if you pressed on an icon in the bottom part. It said what the boost was. In yeah, terms of like the, the make, number yeah. itself. So like- Or you add, could add like in the options, like you know how they have active powers and stuff. And you can like, I reckon if like, you should be able to, if you wanted to turn that on and off, but like a way for them that it would, like, so let's say like the attack like fist, right? Below that, like the bottom right hand corner, it would have like a number, and that would be the thing. And you can turn that on and off. So if you find that intrusive, you can turn it off. But if you wanted to turn yeah. it on, it would tell you, oh, your current attack boost now is two x or whatever it is. So uh, that'd be a really good idea, actually, to make things um to make things. I wanted uh, to like show me all the mathematical calculations for oh, why okay. my character has this certain boost. Go ask Solaris for the calculator, that's then, mate. That's a, that's that's you get Hacker man, hacker man, I'm in. <laughs> um. But yeah, I think that about does it for us for another episode of uh, One Piece. That was a lot of I was questions. Saying, I was about to say another episode of One Piece Treasure Cruise. Another ep- bro, we've, <laughs> this, this episode might be like two and a half hours long. I'm going to kick it to you all real quick. So um, thank yep. you guys as per usual. Uh, thank you to Stump D Gacha. Make sure you check out all of his links will be in the description down below. Go sub, follow, do all that fun stuff on his channel. Stump, I'll give you the floor for a couple of seconds. Anything you want to shout out, any products you have coming up, anything you want to do, let the people know at home. I just want to say thanks to you boys. It's been uh, a lot of fun chatting to you. I've been following pretty much all of you for a, quite a while. And I'm um, just stoked to be here, to be honest. Just stoked to be here. Yeah, Let's mate. Go. He's here. He's live, baby. Um, As per usual, I will do the end of show spiel. So, as always, you can check the link down in the description below. If you want to find any of our social medias, that is the link tree link. The L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E forward slash good great perfect there you can find all of our social media platforms that being twitter and instagram at ggp podcast on those platforms there you can find us on anchor.fm forward slash good great perfect there you'll find us on a plethora of social media platforms that being spotify apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, all of that fun stuff as per usual if you want the audio only versions of the podcast itself Make sure as well, if you're on YouTube right now and that subscribe button isn't hit, you hit that subscribe button. 45% of you jabronis are not subscribed, but still watching. What are you guys doing? Make sure that subscribe button helps out a great deal. And also, if you like the content today, you hit that like button. If you made it all the way here, I'm sure you like the content. Hit the like button. It tells us that we're doing a good job and tells YouTube we're doing a good job. So it will push the content to more people. And also leave some good vibes in the comments down below. As per usual though, I've been Captain Parby, Flame Knight, Stump, Todd, thank you for listening to another good episode. Talk to you next time. Peace. Bye. Bye-bye. Later. Gotcha.